Welcome guys, welcome. Hopefully you can hear me okay. I hope so because, oh, it's been a stressful half an hour. It's been a stressful half an hour. Morty, welcome in, Rad Sports. Um, we've got Flynn here, welcome mate. Scott, welcome guys, welcome. Scott, I like your setup um, on the phone and the TV, love that mate. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I've been trying to open this game for near on half an hour. I mean, I don't know what's going on guys and it's a late winner. Welcome Taylor mate, hope you're good. Welcome to the stream. Hope you guys are all good. I can see the chat stopped working. I mean, why is that? Who knows? No one knows anymore. Um, as in the chat on, on stream. Um, see if I can fix that. But yeah, but, uh, thanks for coming guys. I mean, I'm all over the shop. Absolutely all over the shop. Literally. Um, yeah, no worries Flynn. Enjoy that mate. Um, I mean, oh. I don't know what's going on guys. Let's jump into PCM and hope we can get this on track right now. Why uh, Why is nothing working anymore? Um, have I not been streaming that long that it's all just broken? Um, yeah, like all the overlays are gone. I'll try and fix that quickly guys, but welcome. Welcome to the stream. Obviously we have uh, Parry Nice that we're midway through around top five right now. Uh, we've got a few stages left there. We've got a few uh, big stages, if we take a look. Stage 6, 7 and 8, all big stages. Uh, and then we have Terreno as well. So it should be a good stream, hopefully. Only two stages in there. Um, and yeah, we've got some wonderful stages coming up at Terreno. And hopefully, we will be back with... Uh, oh, we will make it to Milan San Remo today as well. Yeah, I know, Morty. It's really mad at me. I mean, I literally have not changed a thing. Literally. So, um... Yeah, what's going on there? No idea. Um, thing is, I don't know how to fix it because I don't know what's broken. <laughs> uh, but I'll give it a go very quickly. Hello, Emre. Welcome, man. Matiago. Welcome, guys. Welcome. I mean, the stream was almost off. It was almost off because... I mean, there you go. It's working now. The stream was almost off, guys, because uh, Emre, I, I essentially tried to boot up PCM for about half an hour. Wouldn't have it. Just wouldn't boot at all. Kept freezing. Um, it's happened before. I've noticed when I restart my PC. Seems to break PCM. Doesn't like it. <laughs> Taylor, I'm sure you're correct. I'm sure you're correct. So you can see we're coming back slowly now. I mean, I'm just kind of resetting these, these widgets quickly. Hopefully they can work. Hopefully the chat appears soon as well. But anyway, that's a bit better, isn't it? Yeah, Taylor, I'm sure of it, because if we remind ourselves just the sheer size, let's try one more time. Uh, the sheer size of our, uh, our shortlist is unreal. It was worrying times in Discord. It was, Scott, it was, it was. If you guys are not in the Discord, you can join here, by the way. Um, FYI, I think Scott's a, a new member, so welcome, Scott. Is that the one? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Emre, is it? Oh, Emre, yeah. Emre, a few times I've wanted to play the 2021 parkours. I keep forgetting to change it. So frustrating. Wanted to do it at Mallorca as well. Uh, but anyway, shortlist. Where were we? How do you how do you look at a shortlist on PCM? It's a great question. Um, anyway, this is our shortlist. Look at the look at the shortlist we've got going on here, guys. I mean, this is about five world tour teams worth of riders here. Um, oh yeah, the chat's working. Love to see it. Love to see it. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. I think I'm settled. I think we're ready to go. Just about. <laughs> so yeah, now we're now we're all set. The long list, precisely. Radsport, big brain. Um, Paris Nice. So just to recap quickly, we haven't taken a stage. Stage four was the big GC day. Uh, you can see it was a ram, a ram sorry, in third. Um, we're in top five overall, and we've also got the KOM jersey. So it's looking okay for us, and we're gonna continue with that. But do we have to run out first? Let's see. We do have to run out first. So let's just um, let's just see what's going on exactly so far, just to remind ourselves. So we did have a team time trial. 51 seconds we lost there to the, the Grenadiers. And then we were uh, top 10 with Biska. So, yeah, nothing much there. But I think we're all good to go. All right, we're good to go. 
Signing Giga Horvat would be fun. I mean, I've got him on a few series now. Um, do, do I? I mean, is that English? I don't know. Uh, I've got him on uh, T-Mobile, of course, so maybe. We'll see. But 240k to go. <sighs> 240k in this stage. Sorry, guys. Shocking start to stream. Let's just, let's just get into this race because it's going terribly. All right. All right, I think we're I think we're all right. <laughs> so hope you guys have had a good day. What have you guys been up to today? I mean, I've been working, which is why the stream. I, I've tried to do a few kind of daytime afternoon streams, um, but yeah, that's why this one is obviously in the evening. Tim Zosky, Tim Zosky stops working as PCM starts. Yeah, <laughs> literally, Taylor. It took me. It took all my mental energy to get this game working. I swear. I mean. Oh, it was so frustrating. So frustrating. Because I check Football Manager, which is another game I've, I've obviously got installed. Works fine. Which I think, guys, we will see some uh, Football Manager content very, very shortly, by the way. I saw the Winter Update came out. I'm all about that. I'm all about that um, Winter Update. Cannot wait to get involved finally back in FM after a little while. 240 kilometres. Yeah, it's like a classic. It really is really is Morty and you've been exercising and got a haircut I mean you can see I'm well overdue I'm about three months overdue a haircut right now but lockdown lockdown issues right <laughs> yes it's just we let's and guys right I think we've got a new feature on today's stream I'm trying to improve every stream I can in one way or another so we're in race let's jump in and uh, let's see if we can do this let's just check if this works so We'll... Right, so you may or may not see something pop up on your screen right about now. Um, cool. Let me know if you can see that. I don't know if you can. We'll try and do some of these, I think, predictions, obviously. Um, we'll see if these work first. Um, yeah, let me know if you can see that, guys. So, yeah, I thought to add to the streams, we could try and do a few predictions for the stage finishes. Just make it a bit more enjoyable, I guess, in general. Um, so, yeah, we'll give that a go. Okay, so Carthy will probably lead us because quite a steep finish. Hello, Flynn. Hello. So, yeah, guys, you can, you can enter custom amounts as well. I think you have two minutes to enter a prediction. No, Flynn, first stage, it's just been me rambling about how all over the place I am, so it's probably a good job you missed uh, You missed that section, mates. Um, but yeah, you've got a prediction, top of your screen. Let me know if you can do it. I think you can use your channel points, essentially, um, and you can enter a custom amount. I, I know people are adding 10, it seems. You can do a bit more than that. Um, but yeah, we'll try and incorporate them going forwards. So... All right, I think I think we're okay. Yeah, Matiago. I mean, it's it's lockdown issues trying to trying to find somewhere to get a haircut. Hi, Jonas. Welcome, man. Hope you're good. So we've got um. Sorry, how do I say your name? Age Age Kern by. I'm sorry, I've butchered that. But can can I get a summary of what's been going on? Haven't caught a stream recently. So yeah, we're in the middle of Terreno, Adriasco, and Paris Nice essentially. Um, this is the th the third stage of Terreno. Um, we've had some good wins so far. We had a second place at Strada Bianca as well. If you want, I think this is a good uh, good moment to plug it. You can follow me here, and I just upload the stream replays right there. So, yeah, you can up, you can if you miss a stream and want to catch up, you can watch them there if you wish. I understand they're probably you're not going to watch three hours of just me playing PCM uh, when it's not on stream when it's a replay. Um, but yeah. Uh, maybe something for the background or skip through if you wish, up to you. Um, and Jonas, this is Terreno. We have Paris Nice coming the stage after. Obviously, they're taking place at the same time. So, yeah, that's why that is. What did you go for, Taylor? I, I, I don't know where I can actually check what who voted for what. But Taylor's gone no. Taylor doesn't think we're getting the top five. Taylor, come on. Come on, Taylor. All right, let's, let's just get through this stage. It's a massive stage today. 
Yeah, Matiago, uh, I've got some family members to do mine as well, but, uh, you know, I'm fine with how it looks at the moment. I'm not too, too worried, believe it or not. <laughs> so, a small breakaway. <laughs> exactly, Morty. <laughs> Sadly, tw oh, are they, Jakob? Are they really? I had no idea. I guess it is a form, I mean, you're giving up channel points, which you kind of obviously get for free, but I guess it is. Oh, we've had a fall. I, I can see why it is banned, but um, yeah, I don't know. I thought we'd give it a go. I've seen it on some other streams I've been in recently. Um, so yeah, I thought we'd give it a go essentially as uh, Garant Thomas, the blue jersey is down. Oh, did you really? Age, I'll call you Age. He bash, you bash your keyboard to make it. I mean, yeah, that, that's why I can't say it. <laughs> oh, did you? you? got some, yeah, Taylor. If, if everyone else went yes, I mean, Taylor's rooting for me to do badly today now, guys. We don't like Taylor. <laughs> okay, so we do have a big time, a uh, big climb, sorry, coming up next. But they're putting down the rhythm on the front, trying to keep uh, these guys out the back. So, did you got? Have you guys been watching the UAE tour recently? Because I certainly have. There's been all sorts going on. Oh, that's what I thought I predicted. Oh, did you, Flynn? I mean, yeah. We can practice. Um, I'll give a longer submission time next time. And I think mods can also, you know, run these votes. So, yeah. We need some H2O, like me. Cheers, Morty. I mean, yeah, I used to have it much longer. And I used to have it much shorter as well. I like, I used to, when I was younger, I always had the same haircut. It just got a bit boring. So, yeah, now I, I like changing it up. I have it a bit shorter and then grow it a bit. It seems, don't know. I <laughs> don't know what I'm doing. Nebido, welcome. Hello. Hope you're good. Welcome to the stream today. Pog is a beast. Yeah, Morty, that is a, a fair, a fair take after the, um, UE tour so far. Also, Adam Yates, really impressive for me as well. Really impressive. Um, and like you say, Taylor, David Decker. David Decker, who's a Neo Pro for Jumbo Visma. He is unreal at the moment. He's been unreal. Two second places, I think. Shame that Vanderpool had to go home as well. Really is. But uh, we have Yabo Yates tomorrow. I don't think Pog can lose the jersey, but should be interesting. Nebido, you've missed absolutely nothing. You've missed me freaking out because my PCM would not start. And we're now in the first stage of the day. So yeah, you haven't missed a great deal. <laughs> you've, you've missed nothing. We've also tried our first prediction as well. So we're going to see if this works. Taylor, gone for the uh, the brave no. No to a top five. I think Was it a top five? I think so. Oh, oh fair enough, Masiago. Fair enough. Sam Bennett, the Irish legend, can't see anyone other than him and Ewan winning many sprints at top level this season. Yeah, I mean, they're both the best sprinters in the world for sure. Let's be real here. We'll speed this stage up a bit because that final is what it's all about. Uh, but yeah, I think those two are the best sprinters right now. I think that would be fair to say, but <laughs> David Decker making a claim for that. Really is. Wow, well, Masiago, I mean, he's got... Um, if everyone else goes yes... And he goes no. If Taylor goes no, I think he takes everyone else's <laughs> everyone else's channel points essentially, because and then Taylor's points are going to be split among you. So maybe we'll go for the stage win next time or something. <laughs> so yeah, he's, you're sitting nicely, Taylor. Very very nicely. Um, these sprints, yeah, not worth going for. Um, but yeah, like I said, football manager guys. Do you guys, how many of you are interested in football slash football manager? Because to me, PCM and football manager kind of go hand in hand. I mean, when I first created my YouTube channel, I actually created it intending to create football manager content, which is kind of weird to say. Um, and now, obviously, I'm just PCM, but I do want to maybe try and play some FM more and, and create content about it. So that's something I'm definitely thinking about. Yeah, so Matiago and Morsi, at least at least two of you, uh, football manager, 
players slash interested in the game. Because yeah, like I said, I've created football manager content long before I probably even played PCM. So I'd really like to go back there and, you know, play it, create some content, videos, streams, whatever it may be. So good to see at least a few of you, Jakob as well. Um, Scott says, Anger, welcome, welcome, hello, hope you're having a good day, man. Welcome to the stream. So yeah, it's good to see that a few of you have uh, liked the game. Ackerman could be up there if he decides to stop me. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say age. I was going to completely agree with you there because Ackerman goes too early every sprint right now, um, it seems. Anyway, we're coming to the, the business end now of this, uh, of this stage. So Scott says, I mean, FM brought me back into football. It's just the management side of the game is so, so good, even if you don't like football much. That's the thing, Scott, because to me, football manager is like a supercharged PCM. Obviously, it's different because you don't control the players, but it does, um, the, the management aspect, the detail is unreal, especially compared to PCM, right? Which is not so deep. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, both have their benefits, so I definitely want to maybe try both. I've been thinking about it a lot recently because at the moment I'm just PCM. But I do really enjoy football, I do really enjoy other sports, and I do really enjoy Football Manager. So yeah, it is something I I'm thinking um, we could do in the fairly near future. Yeah, Matiago, I mean... It, it's, it seems like, to me, it's more difficult to be a multi-game creator, but I just I just want to do what I enjoy, and hopefully the content will follow, basically. So, Flynn, I've lost interest in football over the years, and to be honest, I'm not sure the interface gameplay of FM is ideal for spectating. Yeah, no. I mean, I'd rather you be honest, Flynn. I'd rather you be honest than say, oh, I'd love you to watch it and play it and blah, blah. Um, you know, it's better to be honest about it, and... Yeah, like they're different, but they they are similar in they're very similar in some ways and quite different in other ways. So, um, yeah, that's my thinking. So, 33k to go here. We do have the uh, the finish coming up in uh, Trevi. Trevi. These songs are on repeat. Let's change that. That's better. Go like this. Um, yeah, Taylor. Taylor put in 1,300 hours into FM18. Taylor, I think I can beat you. I think I can beat you. I think I had 1,500 one year, <laughs> which far surpasses any of my um, of my PCM playing times. But to be fair, I had it on a lot in the background at uni, so th that's my excuse. That's my excuse. Uh, Anger, Real Madrid, Real Madrid or Atlanta? I'd love it to be Atlanta. Atalanta, sorry, not Atlanta, Atalanta. Um, and I'd also, I mean, I'm trying to go for some seconds here with Carthy, just to come back to the game quickly. Um, let's see, let's see. So I'm trying to take these uh, three bonus seconds here with Hugh Carthy. Let's see if we can do that now. So Guerrero's got him here. We might have to settle for two. Let's, oh, okay. Okay, <laughs> two bonus seconds with you, Carthy. That's fine. We've spent some energy doing that, but I hope it's worth it. Um, I'm just going to try and focus on the game. I know we're having a very enjoyable chat right now, but um, let me just try and make sure I'm actually playing this. Um, but yeah, Taylor, I've played a lot of hours on, on FM. So Morty says, it's more popular than PCM for streaming, so that may be personal preference, but that, yeah. I mean... I see what you mean, Flynn, because I think obviously cycling is much, much more niche than football, right? So I think there's a clear suggestion there that that's probably because of, that's probably why there's more FM streamers, etc. cetera. Um, again, sorry, I'm just trying to concentrate for one second. We'll, we'll go like this. So I think that's really why there's more FM streamers partly, but also perhaps just because the game's the game's more deep. It's just much deeper. So I think there's a combination of factors here. Anyway, Ruben Guerrero is on the front for us right now. 14k to go. I'll, I'll, I'll read through the, the chat, guys. Um, I'm trying to catch up whilst playing the game. <laughs> 
uh, Kyle's done for today. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the games are different popularity levels, that's for certain, and that um, definitely impacts things. Like, you, like you're both saying, really, I agree with both of you. Yeah, Flynn, I know what you mean. I mean, I guess you don't enjoy that you don't control the players, right? And now we're having some attacks off the front. But we'll just stay sat in for now because... Okay, Carthy is struggling. Maybe those bonus seconds were a bad idea. So we have 48 riders at the front now, guys. Okay, top five is what we need. So you guys get your points. Or I could tank it and try and go for Taylor here. Who's out the back? Sagan. Sagan's out the back. No one really of, of massive note. Again, I'll catch up on the chat uh, just after this stage because this is this is a big stage. Let's use our gels. Uh, so Bisga could well go for this. Mm, it's too steep. What am I on about? Bisga could go for this. I'll actually swap these guys as well now. So we have Whelan working on the front. Guerrero's done. Okay, here we go. Ooh, what have I done? What have I done? So, Carthy coming to the front right now. 3k to go. Put our guys to 88. Where is Bisca? Get on uh, get on Carthy's wheel, my man. So, 2k to go. We'll see if Bisca can last here. Otherwise, we're going all in for Hugh Carthy. Jasper Stuyven on the front. We have Fulsang here as well. Oh, there he goes. Let's try and jump in his wheel, shall we? Look at full Sango, guys. Oh, he is quick. Stoyven can't follow. 1k to go. I was trying to help Bisca a little bit, but it's not going to happen for us. It's going to be... Is it going to be a top five? Let's see. Full Sang wins it. Then Matthews. Then Van Aert. I think we're going to get top five. So, oh, we're going to sneak a top five. We get fourth. <laughs> there you go, guys. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Morty. Morty's got his dream game right there. Let's get it, mate. What did you have that on, Matty? I'll go 1700. Uh, so, guys, choose prediction. Let's see if I can do this correctly. Choose outcome. Will we finish in the top five? Yes, we did. Yes, we did. There you go, guys. That was that was good. I enjoyed that little little prediction. Hope you guys did too. Um, but anyway. So, Morty had 1,400 hours on FM12. That's your record. Yeah, I think mine's FM16, where I had uh, 1,500. So, Taylor says, are you a taker team from the bottom, or do you start start off at a big club? Nah, Morty, I won't, I won't start at Liverpool. I, I know I support them, and I mention them a lot, but I'll... Oh, they, they took some time there. That's quite big. So Van Art, Van Art now in the leader's jersey here. Uh, but no, I won't. I won't play as Liverpool. I might have my own little save there just for fun. But I usually try and take up a a small team. I like a build a nation save. I try and take up. I usually like a team in Europe, probably not in the top five leagues, and then I start off as a lower team in that country, and then I try to really build them up to the best team, and then grow the nation and win the Champions League. That that to me is like. The dreams. The dream save. <laughs> anyway, Paris Nice time. Uh, yeah. So Flynn says, I think FM is very good at what it does. Um, I'll load up the save whilst we're waiting, guys. Paris Nice up next. So I think FM is very good at what it does. I have enjoyed playing it myself in the past. Maybe I'm looking for a bit more casual watching viewing. When I watch YouTubers or streamers. Yeah, yeah, I, I know what you mean, Flynn. But um, I think it can be casual in its way as well. Welcome, Floris. Hope you're good. Cheers, Morty. Yeah, enjoy enjoy your points, guys. <laughs> so, Matiago was on FM20. Okay. Borquez. Welcome, man. Hope you're good. How do you make simulation faster when waiting for your next race in your career? I don't think you can. <laughs> I don't think you can, I'm afraid. Thought you would start Liverpool since you've been talking about that on Discord. Yeah, no, I'm, when an update comes out, I always check straight away to see what's happened to the Liverpool players, basically. Um, but yeah, I probably won't have them as my kind of main main FM save. Um, okay, here we are, guys. 
Um, Higuita's is on a shocker. Valgren. See, Valgren's in KOM, but I think he can try and take the stage. So I won't actually put him in the in the breakaway today. Is my thinking there? Nielsen Paulus, what a race he's having real, in uh, real life at the moment, as well. Worth mentioning, I think. What am I doing? Cool. So uh, we'll just um, get the stage underway again. I know Valgren's in in KOM, as Flynn suggested we we do in the last stream, but I'll try, um, I think, and go for the stage win with him here because that finish really suits him. He's going to have some uh, good good stats there. Yeah, ball cares. I don't think you can. Taylor finds a journeyman save most interesting. Yeah, to be fair, I've never really been able to do that. I don't know what it is. I think it's that I get so attached to like the new gens that my club and the players in an FM save. And I, I actually find it hard to go to a different team. I really do. <laughs> as weird as it sounds. So here we go. Cheers for that, Morty. So Morty set, set up another prediction, guys. Will we get a podium? Um, so you've got a minute to get in, minute to get in, 45 seconds to uh, cast your votes. Oh, we've gone for a no. We've gone for a no. <laughs> Matiago recommends Portugal. I've been in, oh, I've been in, uh, oh, what's going on? I've been in the Netherlands before. These are breakaways, right? <laughs> I'm trying to read the chat whilst not losing PCM. Um, yeah, I've been in Netherlands before. I did a save with the Graf Schap, who are a Dutch team, and uh, won the Eredivisie, which was great. They were a second division team and I took over. Might go back there. Scandinavian save, Morty. The thing is with Scandinavian FM save is that the season obviously is at a different time to the rest of Europe, so it's a bit weird in the Champions League, but I'll be up for it. I'll be up for it for sure. Sorry, guys. I'm, I'm so far... I'm, Quite far behind on the chat. I say so far, I'm not just quite far. But Mia, thanks for the follow. Appreciate that. Did the uh, did the alert show up? I don't know if it did. I'm so behind on chat. I'm so sorry. Um, if it didn't, I can replay it just to make sure it's working. TJ is on a plus two indeed. Actually, maybe we should protect him. Let's protect TJ. Let's protect TJ, guys. Sorry, I'm I'm just trying to catch up. Hi, Bavir's Mir. So Flynn's gone for a no. A few guys have gone for a no here in the uh, the old prediction. Ninety nine. <laughs> yeah, Matiago. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> I really am. Uh, did that alert show, guys, because the follow alert? Let me just check. Maybe I need to refresh that one as well. It's really strange. Don't know what it is. Hello, Mickey Worm. Hello. Welcome. Hope you're good. Hope you're good. Uh, we're in Paris Nice right now, and it's been actually a mental, a crazy, crazy start to this stage. I need to pay a lot more attention. I mean, Craddock's almost done here. Look at the riders we have attacking as well. What on earth? What on earth? Okay, Morty. Um, let me get that working quickly because we can't have them not working. I'm enjoying this music. There you are. There you are. So the alert should be working now, just uh, FYI. Hopefully um, they won't break again. Very annoying. Scully can do a bit of relaying, I think. We'll go like that. Um, so B Bevizmir says, are you still studying? I'm I'm not actually. I'm not actually officially studying. I've, I've graduated from uni. Um, I'm old, I'm old, I'm afraid. <laughs> I am, um, yeah, I work now. What do you think about the Giro 2021 profile, Mickey Worm? I haven't looked at look, uh, uh, words. I haven't looked at it in great detail, um, but I have seen. I think stage 11 or 10. I think it's the cobbled stage. Looks great. Matiago, 100 bits. Thank you, thank you, Matiago. Appreciate that. Far too kind of you. Far too kind of you. 
proving the alerts are still working. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we have a, a strong break here. Let's just check it out quickly. Wellens, Galapan, Bargill. Strong break. Cheers, Masiago. Far too kind of you. <laughs> so Scott's gone, no. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. We'll see, Scott. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right, Taylor. Uh, Morty, if you do another prediction, maybe just put it to two or five minutes. I thought a minute would, would be enough, but it seems to go very quickly a minute when you think about it, especially if you're not looking at the stream all the time. Um, so yeah, maybe five minutes next time because at this point, I could still get a podium, you know? We don't know. Wouldn't really give you much... Um, much uh, insight. <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely not your decision, Flynn. Right? Definitely your channel points decision. Ah, <laughs> oh, Matiago, you didn't have to do that. You didn't have to do that. Uh, so, Bavir's mayor. I'm doing some currently. I'm doing some writing about cycling actually, um, with a uh, ruler. I'm doing some some writing for them. Um, and hopefully some other stuff as well in the near future. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing at the moment. And, um, you know, I'm trying to work out exactly what I want to do, I guess. I'm enjoying that though. And um, that's basically what I'm doing at the moment. I did have a different job a while ago um, for a web design company, which I didn't really enjoy. So that has since stopped. Um, and yeah, try and do something I enjoy basically. The far two kinds, yeah, <laughs> Morty. I, I, the thing is, I say stuff so often without realizing I've said it a hundred times already in the last 10 minutes. Yeah, cheers, Bavir's I appreciate that. I'm, uh, I'm enjoying it, I'm really enjoying it. So uh, hopefully it continues. What's going on here with this stage? Uh, what do I think about Dumoulin? What do I think about Dumoulin? Um, wow, well, it's a shame, isn't it? I really hope he comes back. Do I think he will? Probably not. I think Dumoulin's probably gone for good now, um, as we have a massive rhythm. Um, yeah, I think he's gone for good, sadly. Um, hang on, let me just fix this. I hope we see him in, in the peloton again, but I don't think we will. But um, it's a real shame, but he should be doing whatever makes him feel good mentally. What happened there? Tim Wellens fell? Not about this song, I'll skip it. So look at this rhythm, by the way. Uh, Morty says, yeah, Bavir's man, no, exactly. You've got to enjoy it. You've got to enjoy it. If he's not enjoying cycling, he should he should definitely just stop. That's my opinion. Um. Yeah, okay. We're just staying in this group, that's fine. Uh, Morty says, if you could, if you could, would you take up streaming videos, streaming and videos full time? Um. I think so. I think I would. Whether it's realistic for me to even consider that at the in the future, obviously it's not right now. Even in the future, though, is it realistic to consider? I could get to that point. I'm not sure. Um, I do it because I enjoy it, really. But would I would I do it if I could? Yeah, I'm sure I would. Um, I think I'd be lying if I said I wouldn't. But again, like you know, I do it because I enjoy it. I know it's quite cliche, but I do. So. Um, yeah, I, w I probably would, but I'm not expecting that to happen, at least in the anywhere near future. I was really sad. Yeah, you're really sad because I really liked him as a rider. Yeah, real shame. Real shame to see uh, Demulan. I mean, what's happened to him? So I think we'll push, push the rhythm here a bit onto this next climb. Let's uh, come to the front. Welcome, uh... Maloko, Maloko, welcome. Hope you're good. Hope you've had a good day. Thanks for coming to the stream today, guys. As always, massively, massively appreciate it. So we're going to try and push it a little, little bit now on the Col de Ferrier. Ferrier. <laughs> Hopefully, none of you are French because pronunciation is isn't there. I'm afraid. Yeah, we'll see. Fia, welcome, welcome, Fia. I'm very well, thank you. Had a good day. Um, hope you're very well too. Welcome to the stream today. We're currently we're currently midway through stage six of Pro Nice, as I think the title says. We're going uh, for the GC with a run. 
Um, and we're just trying to push the rhythm right now. Midway through this stage. What happened there? Carapaz just fell by himself. What on earth? Um, okay, so we are doing some damage right now, which is actually good to see because we're not wasting our time with Higuita. Let's go on a bit. We've got 100 riders still in this group. Like I said, I do think Valgren suits today's stage. We're going to try and win it with him. I like career modes with different teams than people would normally, normally choose. You mean on uh, PCM, Maloko? Yeah. I mean, is EF a, a team people don't usually choose? I feel they are quite. I wouldn't usually choose them at least. Um, as we've got a very nice looking down here, it seems. Yeah, keep predictions on a minute. That was just my income. Nah, nah, Taylor, it's... <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I mean, I don't know how to use them, but I think... I think, yeah, two, one, anywhere between one and five minutes is fine because when it's longer than that, I've probably finished the stage, right? <laughs> But Viersmeer, I've never stepped foot on Belgium. It's on my to-do list. Never been. Never been, I'm afraid. Carapaz still out the back, by the way. He's done. Yeah, Morty, I usually do. The thing is, is that it looks... T I, I mean, I normally time say when I'm playing myself, right? Um, I do that a lot, but... If I do this now, it looks terrible on stream, right? So I think keeping it to times four max is probably sensible. Um, at least <laughs> that's what I think I'm thinking in my head. <laughs> Might be a uh, complete rubbish. Yeah, Maloko. Yeah, I think that I think they're quite unique. So Mickey says stage 14 to Monte Zonclans. Yeah, some big climbs. The Fadaya, Paso Giao's good one. San Valentino, all on the. Uh, all on the parkours, yeah. I mean, Mickey Worm, massive, massive Giro this year. I think it is probably on paper the 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 Grand Tour I enjoy watching the most. Uh, the most really is unbelievable race. Let's put this down a bit. That's a bit better. I can see a bit more chat at once. Would definitely recommend going to Belgium. Been a few times and have great memories. Yeah, Masiago. I mean, like I said, I'd love to go at some point. Um, whether that's in cycling terms or not. But yeah, haven't been yet. The breakaway are, are going to be caught here, guys. So I think we can go on to this hilly finish, which again suits Valgren a lot. Beviersmeer's, are you from Belgium, Beviersmeer? And anyone else who's uh, just joining? Where are you guys from? Um, because yeah, I've never been. Scott says, I'm meant to be going this year for the Grand Prix to celebrate getting through a year of sixth form with some mates. So hopefully soon I'll be able to answer yes. Awesome, Scott. That sounds great, man. That sounds great. Really hope you're, you're, uh, you're able to do that. Because it sounds great. Ghana will win. What, the Giro? Oh, you're from uh, Slovakia. Mickey Worms from Slovakia. So Mickey Worms says Ghana will win. If you're talking the Giro, it's a brave shout, <laughs> the overall. We've got a few Belgians. Anger's a Belgian. Age says, what's the funkiest thing you've seen happen in PCM? Oh, I mean, I see something funky in PCM every stage because it's, it's a crazy game. It's a crazy game. <laughs> anyway, we're coming onto this climb. Hopefully we can um, do some good stuff here. Try and push it right now with uh, Sergio. Let's go like this. Should be fine. What is this? You're streaming exactly dissection. I certainly am. I certainly am. But Viz is a cyclist. And yeah, also from Belgium, as I thought. <laughs> Morty's Norwegian. Yeah. I think I was uh, aware of that one. Matiago, Yorkshire. Yeah, Flynn's the domain of Timzowski, UK. Love to see it, love to see it. Oh, Age is from the USA. Oh, really? Whereabouts? Whereabouts? That's a big place. Big place. <laughs> um, we need some water, but I think we'll go without, actually. Yeah, Morty, it happens. Ooh. Ooh -hoo. Okay, it's a big fool. It's a big fool right now, guys. It's a big, big fool. 
At least Sergio's gone down. Who's he gone down with? Kreuzvik, Guillaume Marsan, Formule. That's pretty big. Kreuzvik's the uh, leader. They're dropping Kuss. Why would they do that? And Bennett. Painful. That's funky. They always drop lead uh, potential like secondary leaders back to help out their first leader. Annoys the hell out of me. Really does. Slocum's from Denmark. Welcome, Slocum. Hope you're, hope you're good today. Je suis is all about the Spanish islands and Portugal. I've been to Portugal as well. And we're seeing... Okay, but Newt's gone down now too. And we've seen a split take place. Oh, we've seen a big split take place. Look at this. Okay, so I'm just going to, again, try and concentrate on the stage. Because you guys want me to get a podium. At least some of you do. Let's go like this. Let's go like this. I think we're fine. Use those gels. We have 4k to go suddenly. What is happening here? So, Valgren's going for the stage win. Let's go. Let's go. TJ trying to put Valgren in the perfect position. We'll see uh, all this absolute madness which has happened after the stage. Come on, TJ. 1k to go. Paulus doing absolute work on the front. Oh, no. Valgren's blocks off his wheel. Is TJ going to win it? Oh, it's Alaphilippe. But we do get a podium right there. So Alaphilippe takes the win in yellow. That block could have cost us. Really could have. Valgren gets seconds. Oh, that's a shame. It's a real shame. But we're going to see a big, big split here, I think. In these groups. Ah, oh, should have got that with Valgren. But it's a yes, guys. So some of you win points. Some of you lose them. <laughs> Scott saw Ackerman win up Von 2 from a breakaway. That's that's funky. Nebby Days from Holland. Rad Sport Italy. Nice, nice. Yeah, Mickey. Decker looks great. David Decker looks fantastic in real life. We've got Maloko from Netherlands. Just we Portugal. Very nice, guys. Ages from Virginia. Nice, nice. Very nice. Very nice, guys. So, okay. Just quickly going back to PCM here. Around stage fifth, Alaphilippe opens up his lead, and we didn't get didn't get the stage win, but we did get a podium. So uh, sorry to those of you who lost, <laughs> and congrats to those who won that prediction there. Back to Torreno for a bit. Uh, dissection, you certainly did, you certainly did. If we go to, uh, you did get a. If you go, if you look here, you can see some Liverpool stuff. If you look here, you can see a yellow jersey. And if you look um, there, I mean, you can't really see it. I've got some stuff there. <laughs> but yeah, I've got a Liverpool badge. Uh, I am a Liverpool fan indeed. Decker's going to win a classic. Maybe, maybe. All right, so stage four coming up at Torreno. Let's load him. The thing with PCM is that when the team is full of AI, they always drop back riders. Yeah, it's so frustrating, so frustrating. A breakaway winning the world champs, Masialko. That is that's funky. <laughs> yeah, nationals, but world champs is is different different gravy for the breakaway to win. <laughs> Flynn, yeah, I'm so far behind, but yeah, Flynn, I, I luckily or unluckily for you, I did try to concentrate for a second. <laughs> Alphabet too good. He was too good. So yeah, how did Pollet? How did Pollet do that? Yeah, Morty. <laughs> I mean, Morty, maybe the next one. Um, Joe's got a plant. There it is. It's a, it's a small plant. <laughs> Let's see it. Let's see it. Ooh. Let's go in game. Here it is, guys. Look at that. Look at that bad boy. Thing of beauty, right? That's what you call a plant. <laughs> do you play darts? Uh, no, Mickey. I, I don't. I mean, I do for fun, but not um, regularly. Carthy's on a minus four. four. Um, who do you think will win tomorrow in the UAE? Uh, probably. Um, 
Pogacar. <laughs> Pogacar or Higuiza, I'll go. To win tomorrow. Um, what do we do here, guys? Carthy's... Oh. Oh, God, PCM. I really don't like you at all. Really don't like you at all. Let's just go like this, see what happens, shall we? What a nightmare. So, predictions, guys. Who will win today's stage? Will we win today's stage? Sorry. <laughs> Get it in. Which race is your favourite? Um, oh, I like so many. Strada Bianca is probably one of my favourites. Uh, Giro. I like a lot of Italian races, to be fair, thinking about it. You've got to name your plants. Eat that. I'm not going to eat the. I'm not going to eat my plant. You've got to name your plants. I've got three plants. What are your plants called? Dissection. And if you have any name suggestions for my uh, little, little cute plant, let me know. It's a very cute plant. It will not be delicious. It will not be delicious. Oh really, Age? Yeah. To be fair, Ghana. Do you have the World DB? Because in the World DB, he's pretty good in time trialing. But I have seen him lose some as well. What are we doing here in today's stage? I mean, what is this? We should have gone in the break. Is it too late? Try and jump in the break here. Onto uh, this climb. Quickly try and see if it's uh, not too late for that. We'll try and get Car in the break. These guys tampering. Are they going to let Biscuit go? No? Just, that's pretty sad if not. Um, Razzport's got cats, so he can't have plants. Fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> Scott's gone no again. Scott, you're really uh, really not keen for me to do well today, are you? Oh my word, Biscuit's not allowed in the break. Really? Really? Fair enough. You guys win. Meg, Meg TS, thanks for the follow. Appreciate that. Welcome in. Hope you're you're having a great day. We're currently uh, in Terreno Adriatico. Paranese coming up shortly as well. Taylor's gone for the yes. Love to see it. Love to see it. If you write an English test tomorrow, I will write an English test tomorrow. Hope for some help. <laughs> I'm sure you'll be alright, Mickey. Don't you worry. What what do we do here, guys? Do I protect Biska? What do I do? What do I do in this stage? It's a shocking stage. I mean, GC day. What do we do? Hugh, you've let me down. Yeah, age. I'll definitely go for the World DB, if you've got a custom DB. Um, because, yeah, it's definitely the best one. That's what I'm using here. Uh, so Dissection says, my plant names are all in Finnish first names. Your plant looks like Vincent's. Vincent the plant. I love that. Dissection, you know what? It's called Vincent. I'll go with that. I like that a lot. We'll go with uh, Vincent the plant. <laughs> Win with Whelan. Is that, is that the... Uh... Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> Is that possible? I'm going to actually protect Bisca though, with um, someone. Guerrero can protect him. Guerrero's had just terrible race days in this save, by the way. Really bad. Evening, Jonathan. Welcome. Hope you've had a good day, man. Welcome to the stream. Currently in uh, stage four of Toreno. Queen stage, and our boy Hugh Carthy gets a minus four. So he's joined at just the perfect time. Yeah, awesome, Jonathan. Yeah, I'm. I've had a great day, thank you. Great day, thank you. Until this, until this moment. I mean, I tried to start streaming, and um, PCM wouldn't start. Just wouldn't start at all. Um, so that was stressful for about half an hour. <laughs> but other than that, I've had a very good day, thank you. Um, we've had a quick discussion about potential football manager stages. Uh, we've had a quick discussion about. Um, my plants and and it's now called Vincent so yeah welcome welcome in uh, I'll try and speed this up a bit because we can't do anything in this stage right we really can't 
Yeah, Vincent is uh, there, Jonathan. He's a plant. <laughs> Anyone just joining is going to think, oh my word, this, uh, this is a weird stream. <laughs> yeah, Mickey. <laughs> Two points. It's a lot to go for, right? A moat needed for Vincent, yeah. <laughs> I know, right? It certainly is. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, how do you create an emote for a plant? Is it just the plant? Is it the name Vincent? Is it both? Because you've got to remember, when I create these, well, what I've got to remember is when I create these emotes, is I always act Where like that. Morty. Sub hype for Morty. Gifting a sub to Anger. Thank you, Morty, man. Thanks for the gift sub and anger. Welcome in. Welcome to the, the subscriber list. There is a subsection of the Discord, by the way, but um, I, need, I need to revamp that. Uh, that's on the to-do list. But cheers, Morty. Welcome in, anger. Appreciate that a lot. Um, what year is that jersey from? This one? Age. I actually won that jersey. That jersey right there? I won it. Um in the E Tour de France <laughs> about six months ago, <laughs> which I uh, I did on stream as well. Um, and that is what I won from winning the race. Not the day for it exactly, Flynn. I mean, look at this man. Why today? Of all days, really? <laughs> That's funny, Morty. No, it says that actually. What on earth? It says Morty is gifting two tier two subs, but only one. How strange. I'll um I'll check on that Morty because that's uh not good from uh from Twitch, from the old Twitch platform. Okay, so whilst um I haven't been looking, we've had a pretty crazy day so far, and uh, would be a very fun stage to look forward to without these uh, race days. 50 riders in the front group now. The plus is out the back. Uh, but yeah, Morty, I'll, I'll look into that for sure. Um, if you've gifted two and it's only gifted one. It's not, not on. Maybe it's gone to someone else who's not here. I don't know. But yeah, again, thank you, mate. Far too kind of you. Can I win with Betiol? I mean, Betiol's on a minus one day. He has 71 mounts in. Uh, no. <laughs> I don't think I can, to be honest with you, Mickey. Yeah, I think uh, Morty's explained it, Scott, essentially. Um, yeah, so the difference is following is like subscribing on YouTube, which is kind of confusing. Subscribing, yeah, I think it's five pounds per month. Um, or just for that month, essentially. And yeah, it's just a way to support your content uh, support a content creator, you get emotes and stuff, um, and yeah. That's the difference. Dissection, I read your ruler previews of MSR, Omloop and Strada, good stuff. Thank you, appreciate that. Appreciate that dissection. Um, but I need to update a few of them, I think some of them are slightly out of date now. Um, I'm going to do that tomorrow. I don't work with them full time, which is why some of them sometimes go a bit out of date. Um, but yeah, Jonathan, I did, but I kind of just stopped using it. Um, I stopped promoting it at least. Um, because the people who were my, my patrons did, did just become my Twitch subscribers or YouTube or YouTube uh, members instead. Um, but I think I do have one. I think I do have one. I'm not sure because... I'm not sure what's best. What do you have? Do you do you have a Patre Patreon? Do you just go for Twitch subscribers? I mean, I don't want loads of platforms where people can subscribe to, right? Um, yeah, I'm not sure what the best is to do. But uh, I think I do have one somewhere. <laughs> I haven't been on, it, been on it for a little while. It probably looks very much out of date. So, Quinn Simmons out the back now. Chris Froome. I've put his mount in 78 and he's still getting drops. Quieta out the back as well. This is a really tough stage. Guys, this stage would be just ridiculously fun without uh, these race days. Real shame. It 
So Morty, I think Twitch takes 50% of each subscription, but it takes different cuts for each dip bits and stuff. Um, I guess that's the advantage, but then obviously you don't get the benefits directly on Twitch like emotes. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm not, yeah, I don't know. Don't know what to do. <laughs> Dylan Toons is getting drops. Strong rider. Uh, how do you mean dissection? Maybe I missed them. Um, yeah, Morty, you can do. You can do. Um, maybe I'll I'll update it if if um, that's of interest to Jonathan or anyone else. But um, yeah, I mean, if anyone wants to, uh, if anyone is so kind to support me, um, you know. Twitch subs is more than enough, I feel. Yeah, so dissection. When I do one on there, I don't at everyone in the Discord because I feel it gets a bit, you know, it's not really the content you came you came there to follow, I guess. You know, it's it's kind of separate. It's not really mine either. I'm I'm writing it on behalf of them, you know. So um yeah, I, I just put them in there sometimes, but they're they're on the website as well. Um, pretty much all the previews on there I've written. So um, yeah, Bisco is just getting drops right now. Oh my word, this rhythm, this rhythm right now. Look at this, guys. I mean, oh, what do we do here? <laughs> what do we do here? Haha, <laughs> Jonathan. I mean, yeah, Benji, Benji is, uh, he gifted a few subs, didn't he? Yeah, Morty, cheers, man. It is, sorry, I've paused accidentally. Yeah, I mean, it's still pretty crazy to see my names, like, on the articles, like you say. Um, yeah, I'm really happy that opportunity has come about, so, um, it's awesome. And hopefully there'll be more stuff coming soon, as we have Geraint Thomas. Let's put our guys to, um... 85. Garant Thomas has fallen here in the in the descent. Look at that. So Moscon, Gano are gonna sit up. Oh boy, that's a big moment in this stage. If we can do anything in this stage, this stage would be so great. We still have this massive climb to come. So annoying about these race days. A win seems difficult. It really does, Morty. So sorry if any of you voted for that. Because uh, I don't think you're gonna win. God do on the attack now. I can't do anything. We're just going to try and stay here. 21 riders. Lutsenko, Champusan, Chikone is gone. I'm really doing my best to try and concentrate a little bit on this stage because it uh, should be a good one if we can do anything. Uh, but yeah, seems very difficult. Jonathan says, is your dream to make it as a cycling journalist? The thing is, Jonathan, I'm not sure what my dream is. I'm really not, which makes it a bit difficult. Um, Cycling journalism would be awesome, you know, in some way or form. So I'm enjoying doing the writing I'm doing for Ruler at the moment. Um, is it my absolute lifelong dream? I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know. I, I've I've tried it for the net for the last few months really, and I'm still learning about it. Still learning how much I enjoy it, which I very much am at the moment. So um, it's hard to say. I'm not sure what my uh, my real you know dream is. So Thomas is trying to come back by himself here. I hope you will win because I want to win three points. <laughs> yeah, Mickey, we'll see, we'll see. Anyway, let's try and speed this stage up a bit. Do you think Almeida is legit? Oh, I 100% do. 100% do. That guy is unreal. Um, I don't think he's the best climber in the world on long climbs, but I think he's... I'm not sure he's a Grand Tour winner. We'll see. Um, but he's he's so good. Maybe more of a, a puncher. Not sure. There he is right there. <laughs> we're not going to do this work though because we're not feeling good today. What do you think, Age and everyone else? Do you think Almeida is legit as Godu is now done after attacking? Is uh, Thomas back? No, Thomas is done. Thomas is done completely. So we are coming now towards that uh, final climb. What a stage this is. 225k. These Tirreno stages are crazy. 
But yeah, we're just going to try and stay here as long as we can. See what we can do. Vesca is strong. He is. He's very strong today. Look at this. 73 mountain though, letting him down. Taylor's starting the building blocks for sports commentary. Have my heart set on that in the future. Taylor, that is awesome, man. That is awesome because I was actually about to say, Jonathan, something, you know, a side of journalism is kind of the broadcasting, which, uh, I mean, as I do Twitch and YouTube, is probably a little bit obvious that I quite enjoy. Um... And maybe that's an area one day I could try and push more into, whether that's in cycling, football, something else. That'd be unreal as well. Maybe that's another dream I have. I've got a few dreams. I don't know. I don't know. I couldn't say one dream for sure. All right. So 15k to go. These guys are going to absolutely kill us right now. Absolutely kill us. But yeah, Taylor, that, that's awesome, man. If he will leave the coin, 100% sure he'll win a Grand Tour, Jonathan. Are you really? He almost did, yeah, but there weren't any massive, massive mountains, Morty. Altitude climbs, and when there were, he struggled. So uh, I'm not sure he'll win a Grand Tour. I, I'm not sure I can say he'll win a Grand Tour just yet. Um, so Carthy's going to do his best here, but uh, yeah, let's just um, let's just go like this, shall we? Let's go like this, speed it up to times two. Try and just hang on. Did you see the Giro routes? Yeah, dissection. I've seen part of it. I haven't seen it in detail, but looks unreal from what I've seen. It looks unreal, doesn't it? Really should be a good race, as always. Giro is always good. Maybe good for Almeida to develop into... A, yeah, I was going to say Morty. Maybe learn from full, uh, Jakob Fulsang's mistakes as well. Because... Um, you know, he could have maybe won more if he didn't go for GC and failed at it so much, really, in uh, Grand Tours. So we've got Pozzo and Remco going up the road right now at the front. 11 riders behind. We're going to take it steady with Carthy. We're going to take it steady. Quite a successful stage on a minus four to beat Thomas. Yeah, Flynn, he did he did fall. So, um, you know, there is that. As Biscus finally done, great ride by him. Really good rides. The goat back on Molimer is done. The Marquis done. Michael Matthews is still here, and Pagacha is done. Okay, he's not in form right now. Dion Smith is going to beat Pagacha on this stage, guys. I mean, <laughs> if that was in the predictions, I don't think you guys would have got that. That's for sure. It's all happening right now on this stage. Yeah, it feels odd to say and unfair, but I don't really count that 2020 Giro as a proper Grand Tour. Yeah, Scott, it's difficult. It's difficult circumstances, isn't it? So um, it's hard to say, you know, what people could have done in different circumstances, I guess. Let's try and push it to 70, I think, with Carthy. I've heard some rumours that English Eurosport does not have the best commentator. Don't want, don't want to brag, but we here in Finland probably have the best cycling commentator. Oh, do you really? Do you really? I mean, Carlton Kirby, I assume you're talking about, he's a bit... He waffles a bit sometimes, but in the big moments, I think he's quite good, to be fair. I don't think he's that bad. So it seems Ramco is going to win the stage. Hugh Carthy's coming back, to be fair. We're going to we're gonna beat Pagaccio, maybe. We could catch Pagaccio on this, on this climb right now. On a minus four day. I did not expect to say that. We'll try and jump in his wheel. How have we done that? We'll jump in his wheel, look. Up the road, though. Let's see who wins the stage. It's going to be Ramco. Remco wins on the Sonano Sassateto. <laughs> Horrible again from me, I know. Apologies. Slow and steady, Jonathan. Yeah. And Caruso does well. We have Demoulin, Fulsang, Pozzo, Godou, Rob Stannard, and there is Wout van Aert here. That's interesting. That is very interesting. The blue jersey. Michael Matthews as well. And look at this. We're going to try and try and beat Pogaccia. No. <laughs> but we beat Nibali. Okay. We lost a lot of time. I think that's the best we could have done. I think that's the best we could have done for sure. Yeah, he's... Morty, full sounds transition into more of a puncher and classics man really has helped him win more, I think. Really has. So Scott says, I watched the Eurosport UK stuff on GCN and the commentary is quite good. Yeah, I mean, they do have a few different commentators. Dan Lloyd I quite like. Um, and to be fair, I didn't used to really rate Carlton, but um, he's grown on me. I quite like him now.
Yeah, yeah. Taylor's talking about the um, tour of Turkey where Carlton Kirby absolutely nailed the finish where Ilyo Kaiser, I think, fell off his bike and then won. Unreal. So Remco goes into the lead there. Carthy is uh, nowhere. Wout van Aert could still win this race though, by the way. 35 seconds. You really could. All right, guys. Two minutes down. Beat Nibali. Beat Mollema. What more could I do? What more could I do? Uh, but yeah, Taylor, that call from Kirby was great. He's had some great calls, for sure. And I'd love to do sports broadcasting at some point. Anyway, guys, we now have the uh, the queen stage of this Paris-Nice. Let's get it. See what we can do. See if Alaphilippe is going to crack. <laughs> Flynn, Flynn's not about the Carson Kirby life. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, he he talks waffle sometimes, but like I say, he's had some good moments for sure. In my opinion. He tries to make the weirdest word <laughs> word plays that don't fit. <laughs> he does do that. I can't I can't deny that. So guys, will we win today's stage? Get the votes in. Get the votes in. Oh wait. Sorry, that was the old prediction. I mean, we don't have to do a prediction all the time. <laughs> You guys, you guys went strongly no there. Hmm. I think that's after you saw the race day, right? <laughs> so, new prediction. Will we get podium on today's stage? Let's see. Podium, queen stage. I'm not going to show you the race day either. So, you've got to get your votes in before I show you the race day. I'm not going to show you that till the two, minute, two minutes are over. Get them in. Matthew's... Beat, uh, beat Pagatra on a climb, yeah. <laughs> Whoever asks um, what's the funkiest thing I've seen in PCM, it's that right there. So I'm not going to show you the race days. I'm keeping my poker face over what we've got today. Get your votes in, guys, if you're, if you're down for that, if you can do that. All right. All right, so we're in game again. I'll keep it keep it quiet till the votes uh, votes finished. Don't want anyone having an unfair advantage now. Wow, he's a beast. He really is. He really is a beast. You hope Angus says he hopes Van Aert is going to be the leader for Jumbo Visma in real life in Toronto. I think he will be. Honestly, I think he will be. I think he'll be a leader for a lot of things in real life as well. Yeah, Bernie Eyes was good, Jonathan. He's really good. So guys, get your get your votes in if you haven't already. Yeah, Fear. Fear's Fear's new to Carlton. I think he has improved actually. I know he's been commentating a while. I really think he has improved. Really do. If Alaphilippe wins Ronda, could he win all five monuments? Yeah. I think the one dissection that Alaphilippe may not win is uh Paris Roubaix. Paris Roubaix is the one for Alaphilippe where I think he could struggle the most. Uh, but we'll see about that. Uh, sorry, Flynn. It's a big mountain stage. Big mountain stage coming up. So I think that's done. We'll, uh, we'll cut to the in-game screen. There we are. There we are right now. So we've got some decent race days today. Aran gets a plus one day. Let's go. Let's go for the GC. Come on, Rigo. Come on, Rigo. Do you think uh, do you think Wouts could win Lombardia? Yeah, I do. I do. I think he can win almost anything. Tour de France, maybe. Little smile. That means good race day. <laughs> you caught me, Mickey. Did you? How, how did you spot that? How did you spot that? Try to uh, you know keep a poker face. Didn't work. <laughs> Who's the guy that does the really monotone commentary? Maybe a hot take, but I can't stand him. Is that the UE tour, but it's like the announcer at the finish? Um, yeah, I don't think that's Brian Smith. Oh, I, d I don't know actually, Taylor. I'm trying to think. Could it be? Could it be Carlton? I don't know. Could be Carlton. Flynn doesn't mind a uh, a chill commentator. It's good. Jonathan is hoping that Gilbert wins at San Remo. I mean, yeah, I mean, I don't think many people aren't hoping that because it would be, would be epic, wouldn't it? It would be really epic. 
Yeah, Guita's got a plus two. TJ's got a plus three though, so we're going for TJ. <laughs> yeah, Morty. Bit closer this time. In the US, for the tour, there are like three commentators who all sound the same. <laughs> oh, nightmare. Nightmarish stuff. Oh, did you, Mickey? You put you put them on to uh, to make make it equal. Love that, love that from you. Anyway, we do have a breakaway. Let's just see quickly. We have to Ghent, Mark Hershey, uh, Tim Wellens, Bargill, Kelderman. Okay, it's a strong break. I see what it's best. Let's move on a bit. Get on to the uh, the finale of this stage. Scott's got to go. See you guys later. I'm actually going to go this time. Haha. <laughs> no worries, Scott. Hope you enjoyed the stream, man. Catch you next time. Catch you later. Emre, welcome. Swansea game is finished. I guess that was a win if there's no more swear set, uh, stress, Emre. Is that right? Did Swansea get the win? Who were, who were Swansea playing as well? Cayman, Cayman Zind is loving the EF jersey. I mean, how can you not love that? Look at that jersey. It's beautiful. It really is. Jusui says, I think you should go with Valgren for the stage. That's interesting. I mean, minus three day makes it hard to do anything, even try and keep this jersey right here. <laughs> Mickey, you have to go. I hope you will blast this stage and I will win. <laughs> we'll see, Mickey. We'll see. Amre, it was a 1-0 win against Coventry. Awesome, man. Jonathan, what show am I watching? What show is everyone? Everyone, what are you watching currently on Netflix? To be honest, Jonathan, I actually don't watch much Netflix at all. Like, I, I've got it, but um, I rarely actually watch it. I mean, my days are spent, right? I'm either writing <laughs> at the moment um, or interviewing people. Oh, that, there you go, Je Suis. He's not, he's not leading us anymore. <laughs> um, and then, Honestly, at the end of, when I've stopped working for the day, if I want to stream, if I want to have videos, like I've got no time to, to watch Netflix really. Um, so yeah, that's really why I don't really watch too much right now. But if you've got any absolutely stellar uh, suggestions, let me know and I'll, uh, I'll get on that. So we do have a big fool here. Morty says, do you think that Wouts could finish top five in a Grand Tour? Yeah, Morty, I do. I think he could genuinely um, win the Tour de France. On this year's parkours, I think he could win the Tour de France. I really do. Um, I certainly think he can top five. I don't think he will win it this year, but I think he could. <laughs> it's different. <laughs> So Jonathan has just finished Night Stalker. Oh my words, he's fallen again. He's fallen twice in one stage. <laughs> oh, you hate to see it. Pronsky, T-Mobile legend, by the way, is gone. Oh, Valgren, it's not your day, my man. Oh, he, he was getting us water as well. Oh, that was crucial. We got no water. Emre is obsessed with Taskmaster. Flynn's favourite show was the anime of Rays. Fantastic. And the intro is a bop. <laughs> Always good when the intro is great, right? Always good. Ah. Uh, are we going to be able to get water? I don't know. It's a nightmare. So you've got to take these uh, mountain stages steady, by the way. There's no point times eighting these because that's when you... Uh, you lose a lot of um, energy. Oh, we need some water. <laughs> I wish, right, in PCM, you could do what some riders do in real life. It's Scully could give Paulus that water when he passed them and take it to the rest of them. Why can't he do that? Oh, come on. So, no water, no H2O. I've got mine, they don't have theirs. Freelander. <laughs> we're, we're always hoping to freelander, Cayman's in. 
Jonathan says, I don't think Wout can do better as last year, so I don't think it would be a good idea to focus on GC. But I think he, yeah. The thing is, he's not going to try and win the Tour de France, right? This year. Um, or try and get Cranach getting us some water. I don't think he's going to focus on trying to win the Tour this year, so um, he won't win it. But I think technically he could. He'll win Paris-Roubaix, Strada, San Remo, probably. <laughs> Amongst other things, I'm sure of it. Speed this up a bit. Yeah, it's just we, you, you completely did jinx Paul Valgren. He's 10 minutes down. He's the last rider on the road right now. <laughs> so I'm trying to slow down just so they can get us some water right now. Need some water more than anything. Angle watches two and a half men. I've heard of that. I don't think I've ever watched that though, to be fair. Oh, my words. Don't know what happened there. Kind of stopped for a second. Let's um, get to the front of this group. The PCM water system needs to be re reworked. I completely agree. And my plane needs to be reworked as well right now. Oh my words. It's, we're, we're dropped. It's not ideal. This wasn't how it's supposed to go. Look at these guys. We are so far back in that group. It's my fault. Okay, we're slowly getting back in there. We're on such... Ah, oh, the blocks though. Oh, guys, this could be a big moment. We're getting dropped early on in this stage. Okay, Iran's back. That's fine. Spent way too much energy there, though. All right, we're back. We're back. Stay calm. Stay calm, guys. <laughs> Those of you who had a podium as well. Podium is looking bad. It is morty after that. But we have, to be fair, it's a quick tempo because... Ooh, Henley falls. Dan Martin falls. Unlucky for them. Um, but yeah, Morty, I'm fine. I think we can get a podium still. To be fair. Um, I think we should have one, one team staff and we can place it anywhere in the profile. Yeah, Emre, that'd be great. Someone to put out wherever you like at the beginning of the stage to get water, right? That's a great idea. Really great idea. I love that. So, on the descent. Still have a breakaway up the road. Just we says, hope that water is poisoned so neither, neither of your riders get on the podium. <laughs> You're after those channel points, my man. Zen's got faith, yeah. Cheers, Cayman. Cheers, Cayman Zins. Have a good evening. Thanks for dropping by. Appreciate it. Ooh, it's a big fool. It's a big, big fool. It's a big, big fool right here. Just put these guys up to... Um... Okay. I can see Yates is pulling, right? I'm pretty sure I saw a few a few Ineos riders go out the back. Okay, look at this. Look at this. Crazy stage right now. Because, who's out the back? Here it is. Carapaz, Sivakov, Bardet, Freelander is out the back. Kosnafra, Simon Yates, Hinley. Yeah. These riders. <laughs> these riders are out the back. Ooh, that's big. Cheers, Cayman. Hope you enjoyed it. Who is it, Taylor? Who is the uh, who is the commentator? Didn't find his name. He commentates on uh, Tour de la Provence on Flow Bites YouTube. Okay, I'll check that. I'll check that after. Send me a Taylor. Do me a favor. Can you can you uh, send me a message on Discord so I remember who you're talking about? <laughs> Just with the um the link or something. Yeah, Flynn. We're fine. We're fine. They went hard. But we were, we were chilled. We always knew we were in this group. Anyway, these guys, 43 riders right now with uh, the likes of Bardet trying to get back in. This is going to be a quick tempo. Okay. It's not going to be a quick tempo. <laughs> now it is. They're going to get back on because of that. That was weird. Let's, uh... Okay. Let's go like this then. Hmm. They're back in. We're not going to do that. Let's stop, let's stop, let's stop. So we'll sit up now. We'll, we'll just sit up, wait for the final climb, I think. I think Wout is going to win the Torreno this year in real life. He might win it here as well because he's second in, in this one, Anger. <laughs> after, after this stage, we'll see. Yeah, Emre. <laughs> Don't let them tell you that, that, that you're not creative, man. Clearly. I mean... You can see that in the stages, right? More than anything. 
if if not for your your PCM suggestions. <laughs> so it's Gagan Hart now on the front working for Banal. This has been yeah, Morty. I mean, to be fair, in some of my other saves when I've played PCM recently, it's just been very standard. But this save has been just crazy. There's been so many just crazy things going on constantly. Uh, Emre, it's it's times one. It's normal. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's just times one. Standards. Uh, the the crash percentage that is okay. Pino and Banala on the attack right now. We need to react to that. Yeah, it, I don't have crash percentage up at all. Dark Horse, Jonathan says, for uh, for Omloop. Oh, that's a good question. I'll go Nils Ekhoff. Uh, but I think there's a few, to be fair. Jake Stewart, maybe. But I'll go I'll go Nils Ekhoff as my Dark Horse. Who do you guys think could uh, be a Dark Horse at Omloop? Maloko says, I think the Dutch commentators at Eurosport and also at NOS are okay. That's good. Um, I probably won't Morty. I probably won't watch the Nordic Ski Champs. I watched the Alpine Skiing, but not too many other winter sports, to be fair. Hello, Finn. No worries at all, Finn. You can catch up uh, on the, the YouTube Live. Again, quick, quick plug. You can um, subscribe there if you want to catch any replays. Obviously, you don't have to watch the full thing, but um, yeah, you can catch the replays there if you missed it. Cheers, Taylor. Appreciate that. Hey, big dog. Tom GTR, Jonas, suddenly a lot of highs. Hello, welcome guys. Welcome everyone that's uh, just joining. Hope you're all having a good day. But currently, right, I'll catch you up on the situation if you're just joining, if you've forgotten. We're top five at Paris-Nice. This is the queen stage. We do have a time trial afterwards, but Alaphilippe's in yellow um, and Iran on a decent day, to be fair. We're going to see if we can uh, win this race right now. So it's, uh, it's, it's clutch time. Jonathan's got, um, is it Livens? Is that how you say it? But yeah, great shout. Really great shout. I like that a lot. I think he's great. He's been really great. Um, how do you mean, Jonas? What big happens? It, I mean, do you mean what's happened? Hopefully I've just explained, like, we're top five. Alaphilippe's in yellow. I think Lander's been dropped because of the crash. But now's here. This is quick right now. Bardet is back in. Okay. So Solaire's out the back. Okay, we've got a few riders dropped. And now it's uh, now it's going to be the decisive uh, moments of the race. So we'll try and come to the front, actually. I'll watch it later, Taylor. Okay, so um, TJ's going to protect. We'll go like that. Let's go like this. Paolo's can tempo for a little bit. 15k to go. I'm, I'm, I'm excited about this stage. Excited about this finish. See what we can do. Morty's got Grondal Janssen uh, for a bike exchange, I believe, nowadays. as his uh, dark horse for Omni. That's fair enough. I mean, going for your countrymen, right? Have to. Has the start list for Omni dropped already? It's just sweet. I think it's still provisional. Um, I don't think it's finalised yet. Anger, I won in PCM 2015 on loop. Oh, with Koftis, nice man. Taylor, are you talking about me? Yeah, it's really annoying me now, as well as his commentary. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, all right? <laughs> I'm trying to be entertaining. Damn it. Okay, so Egan Bernal kicks things off here. We're going to take it steady, though. Let's try to. So, Palace is dumped. So quickly, we have 19 riders left at the front. I always, okay, Guillaume Martin is gone. Trying to take the steady. Uh, Morty, I do, not as, I, I'll be honest, I have never watched it as closely as I do the men's, but I'm trying to watch more of it. I, I know it to a basic level and here we go. Um, but yeah, I tried to watch some women's cycling. I need to watch it more, essentially. Um, okay, so. We have Miguel Angel Lopez and Bernal up the rays. Can Alaphilippe pull? These guys seem pretty done. So uh, we'll up this now with TJ. 
We'll just wait for this uh, flatter section to finish, actually. These guys have a minute lead up the road, so we need to be first of this group if we want that podium finish. All right, let's push it now. I think we can try this. Is that Arkea Cantana? It is. So in this group, just to see, just so you can see, we have... Okay, that's... Um, <laughs> that didn't work. <laughs> So you can see I'm really trying to push this now. You can see Alaphilippe is finally cracked. Okay, Alaphilippe is gone. He won't win this Paris Nice. Paguita is going to help us out. Van Garderen and Massa gone. We have Vlasov, Kelderman, Bookman, Nairo Man, and Pino. We're slowly closing the gap. Lopez has been dropped. And look at this. Bookman is done. Kelderman is done. Pino is done. Quintana, the only man who can follow us. And here we go. Rigo on the attack. Quintana cannot follow. Here we go, guys. Can we win this race? We're going to catch Lopez. Oh, get out of the way. Just get out of the way, please. So there is Bernal. Come on. Come on, guys. Let's get to Bernal's wheel. Come on, Rigo. And we're behind Bernal and GC, I think. But if we can finish here, we'll be there for the TT tomorrow. Right, we need to take position with this man. He's too good for us. 1K to go. We have a round here with Bernal. Oh... What? He was done. Okay, he's done. He is done. He doesn't want to work with me, look. We're pretty close in GC right now. Try and push away. Yeah, but now has got the stage. But now has got the stage. Ah, but now has got the stage. Yeah, I tried to follow him, Flynn. But he wasn't pulling, so I couldn't do it. But anyway, it's a strong ride. Second place. Ah, we may have lost it though. Could be too difficult on the time trial. We'll see. But, Colombian, uh, Col Colombian? Colombian 123 right there. That was a, a fun finish to the stage. We have Vlasov, Bookman, Kansana. Um, Haguita did very well. Finishing with, uh, with Thibaut Pino. TJ as well. Top 15 for him. What a ride there. Love to see it. Alaphilippe cracked, as we would expect. Whew. Guys. That was a, uh, a big, big stage. I enjoyed that very much, though. Hopefully, you guys did as well. TJ in yellow. <laughs> yeah, not quite, Jonathan. It was a good effort. We needed the plus three on Iran instead of... Um, uh, who was it on? TJ. I think it was on TJ. Congrats to you guys who predicted the yes. Come on, guys. you gotta, you got to believe in me. <laughs> the believers, precisely. <laughs> so let's just see the overall right because oh okay we were 32 seconds behind Bernal he had quite a lot left so Bernal goes into the lead 42 seconds is what we need to make up if we want to win Paris Nice this year oh oh that's horrible Lopez almost two minutes we've got a podium that's for sure I guess if nothing else Pino Bardet athlete the big dog. Thank you for the bits, man. Appreciate that. Very kind of you. Far too kind of you. <laughs> I've said it again, haven't I? Accidentally. <laughs> but yeah, we've got one more stage at Torreno. Then we'll try. Because if I show you the final stage, it's it's a cold dead time trial. Which I'm not sure how that's going to go in PCM. We'll see. Could be a big day. We, we can still make up that time, I believe. All right, let's go. Triple Colombian followed by a triple Fren uh, French in the GC, I think. Cheers, big dog, again. Very kind of you. Dissection's going for Seneschal for Omloop. Okay. That's a good shout. Seneschal, I think, has really developed his sprint quite a lot. He's a very good sprinter nowadays. Kind of out of nowhere as well. I mean, suddenly, he's he's kind of... The Clasca de Almeria, he was top three, right? He was top three. Um, I think he was seconds. What a sprint that was there. Anger's gone for Olav Koy. Yeah, exactly, dissection. I mean, you, you got there a lot quicker than I did. <laughs> so, we've got this stage coming up at Torreno. Punchy stage. Van Aas and Van Der Poel, the favourites. No surprise. Let's get into it. So, I think we can finish Torreno as well in this stream as uh, Paris Nice. So, that should be good. Another predictions up, guys. Morty, absolutely nailing it, my man. Okay. 
get in on that, guys, if you're if you're keen. If you're keen to compete for some channel points, <laughs> whatever they're called. I mean, it's just a bit of fun, really, let's be real. This year is going to be difficult to know who will be the leader for De Koenig in the Cobble Classics. Like every year, Jonathan. <laughs> like every year. Uh, this is the stage. This one right here. We've got some hills. Ah, uh, Emre, that's a real shame. I mean, Jakob said as well that you can't you can't do it in Poland. Um, it's a real shame. I didn't realise there were rules. I assumed everyone could do them. That's a real shame. Sorry about that. Sorry about that, Emre. Uh, yeah, dissection. This is the hilly one. This is the hilly one. I'll, ju I'll just jump in game. Uh... This is Torreno. We've got Paranese after this one. It's a bit confusing having both races side by side. I know. Carthy's on terrible form. What's wrong with him? But we do have Guerrero on a plus three, which is uh, pretty nice. Okay. Just protect him. That should be fine. No, I am sorry, Emre. I am sorry. I'm very sorry. I mean, it's never nice. I just assumed ever everyone could do it. So I am sorry. Remember to show the parkours. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, Morty. <laughs> I will try. I will do my best. The Twitch noob returns, right? <laughs> yeah, let's see dissection. I, I think, I'm feeling confident about that Paranese time trial. I think if we get a plus two or more, we can win the GC. <laughs> it's pretty bold. We're 40 seconds down on Bernal, but um, we'll see. That's... Uh, Get through the start of this one though. So today, 175k, and we do have a little circuit, and that is a, a nice little punchy climb there, where I think we can uh, try and do something. Yeah, Jonathan Guerrero's been on terrible form. This, I think, this is his first good day, a good race day in the save. I love that jersey, really do the Cometa jersey. So Bataglin, Shirel, it's Vakerman. That's going to be the break. I don't think anyone else will be allowed clear. Yeah, that's true, Morty, if we don't get a top three. I mean, to be fair, in today's stream, I've done a lot better than I have done in, in previous streams, like, results-wise. Yeah, exactly, Morty. They're tricky. They're very tricky. Is this? No, it's a different climb. How do you say that? The Mon the Montel the Montepony. The Montelapony. Can't say it. But we do have the uh, Filatrano climb. Filatrano climb. Sorry to any Italians who are here. Really am. I think that's what I said, Jonathan. Montelapone. Montelapone. <laughs> don't know. <laughs> shouldn't have ever. Shouldn't have ever tried. Oh dear. Oh dear. Very embarrassing. Anyway, up the roads. Yeah, the breakaway is just. Oh, Mulberg is there as well, to be fair. He's, he's a good rider. Yeah, I think I think that's what I said, Jonathan. <laughs> I think that's basically what I said. Oh, not a deal at all. Not a deal at all. Oh, dear me. So let's uh, try and speed this up a bit. Yeah, that, I think we can try some of earlier attacks on this stage. I think that could be uh, beneficial, to be fair. It's times eight. Times eight in the old uh, heli cam. Looks a bit better. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, the pig dog. If I could say that, that would help. No Rose Age. Go the head out. See you. Good stream today. No Rose at all. Thank you uh, very much for coming. Hope you enjoyed. Hopefully catch you next time. And if you're new around here, Age or anyone else, you can join, jump in the Discord. Um... See when I'm streaming next and a bunch of other cool stuff going on in there. Okay, so yeah. I'm just gonna wait for that final circuit and then we'll try and really um do some damage on this race. That sounds like like a plan to me. But really I'm thinking about that Coldez time trial. Like I love Toreno and I love Paris Nice and I love when they're on in real life, but in game when you have to focus on one and then the other, it's a bit I mean, I want to play the Pyrenees time trial now, right? And you guys probably want to watch it because we want to see what happens there. 
rather than jump back and forth all the time. Will Barth has fallen here with a uh, Turbo Derbo. Um, just checking the old... Um, Yabani, welcome. Welcome, man. Welcome in. Hope you've had a good day. Welcome to today's stream. Oh, Bart is gone. Imagine how it is for team managers who have two real races. Exactly, Morty. Exactly my point. I mean, it'd be a nightmare, right? <laughs> it'd be an absolute nightmare. Benji has got his new smart trainer for for when a YTC Zwift rides. Just we is asking. Would you would you be up for that? I mean, I've got Zwifts. I ride on Zwifts very irregularly, but we, we can do that if some people are up for it, up for that. Just we, for sure. So I've noticed we have a split right now. I'm gonna try and uh, push it here. No, okay. I just wanted to see if we can make that gap uh, really really count. We didn't. Uh, but yeah, it's just we. I'm up for a Zwift rise. Maybe we can uh, organize that. It's a little bit expensive, Jonathan. Zwift Dream, Morty, <laughs> that cannot happen. Uh, I mean, maybe when I get a bit fitter, <laughs> might help. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> we'll get some H2O. Finn, how was the mountain stage in Paranese? That's all right, Finn. Uh, Finn. I'll... Basically, we came second. <laughs> we came second behind by now. I'll um I'll show you it after this stage. I'll show you the results quickly, um and I will do. I won't forget. Um so yeah, I'll, I'll let you know. And we have a time trial in Paris Nice after this one. So um that that will decide the GC essentially. So right, we're coming into this section now where the race is gonna hot up a little bit, I believe. So we'll put some guys to relay. I'm gonna do that. I don't. I don't actually care what happens to Carthy. He's currently 12th in GC. <laughs> Looking forward to it, Morty. I mean, it doesn't even have to be related to our team. It could be is, but now, you know, it could be two random riders. <laughs> I don't know. Um, okay, so it's gonna be a quick tempo right here. First descent of this climb. Poland's government. In Poland, you can't predict results. Yeah, it's a shame, Yabani. I saw, I saw. Yeah, I mean, Jakob said earlier. It's a real shame. Okay, so Madawa's going to try and attack already. It's time to do it. That's the finish right there in a, in a few, uh, few laps time. Just trying to push the tempo now, though. Bessio was going to give himself up as well, by the way. Paranese is finished. No, Jonas. One more stage. One more stage. Uh, we have, we've just had the mountain stage. We've, we've got the time trials. Coldez coming up after this. This is uh, stage five of Tirreno, though. So we've got this first. Is Ghana riding Paranese? Jonathan. Um... I think he's riding this one here. Let's see. No, Ghana's here in um in Tirreno. But it's a it's a super steep time trial, so I do believe we can try and uh, do some damage there. Really do. Gone a bit early here. No, exactly more it will be. In Portugal we have the same situation more or less. Oh that's a that's a shame. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna try and really push it now. Going to be a few other teams pushing it. I'm going to see if we can get to the front here on this climb. Doesn't seem we are, to be fair. Really doesn't. But if we can just keep pushing it over the top, that would be ideal. Let's go like this. Biska. We'll try and keep Biska. Okay, Carthy could be done. And here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I know Carthy's out the back. I honestly do not care because Wout Van Aert's also out the back. I think they're coming back in, though. Really trying to push them out the back here. Um, oh, Biska. Push it, push it, push it, push it, push it. So, Vanderpool's here, but I'm trying to push it because a certain Wout van Aert is out the back. Can we keep him there? I think he's coming back on, isn't he? I think he's coming back on. 
Ganner is such a beast. I wonder if he could win any classics. Morty, I, I do believe he can. I, I really do believe he can. Really do. Um, I think he could win Paris-Roubaix. Paris I think he could win Ronda. Why not? I think that's very much within his uh, capabilities. So we have 67 now at the front. Almeida at the back. He, he, he's he got great stats. I don't know if he fell, but in PCM, he just seems to be a bit rubbish. I don't know why it is. Um, so guys, we're coming into this finish now. I'm actually going to... I'm going to use Guerra, uh, Bisca, sorry. If you have... <laughs> oh, really, Ibani? I've been to Poland. I went there about a year ago, actually. I went to... Um... Yeah, it's great. It's a really nice place. Hang on. So, let's see. Let's see. Bisca up to 99. I had a complete brain freeze there because we're coming into the finale right now. Bisca up to 99. Guerrero is here. Let's zoom in a bit. I plan to attack here, but we're struggling to get to the front. Gan is still here. Oh, this is this is difficult. So, Guerrero going to try and win this stage now. Uphill little section coming. Maybe I attack. Maybe. It's a quick tempo though. Just trying to just get to the front now. Pogacha's here. We're in Pogacha's wheel. 1k to go. Let's launch it. Let's launch it. Guerrero's gone. Guerrero's gone. Ruben Guerrero going for the stage. But Wout van Aert too strong. Went a little early. And we're not going to get a podium, are we? That's why I tried to push him out the back. It's only going to be P4. Ah, oh, Shocker. Yeah, you're bunny. I went to Warsaw. I was it. Sorry, I was about to say where I came from, and then I was like, "Oh, finish is coming." Should have concentrated more on Carthy, but to be honest, let's try and just make sure he can go in the breaks or something. Um, yeah, I went to Warsaw last year. Really nice place. Went there, but really nice place. Um, I was there January last year, I believe. Um, yeah, really nice place. Like I say, can't can't knock it at all. It's a beautiful country, but people are a little stupid. <laughs> yeah. I mean, to be fair, there's a lot of um, stupid people in a lot of places, I would say, in the world. Not just Poland. But yeah, P4, shame. Wanted a bit more there, but Van Aert. Wout Van Aert being Wout Van Aert, I guess. So, Paranis up next. Yeah, Morty, just about top five. Yo, Swag. Yo, Swagger. Yo, Benji. You join us just in time, Benji. And Benji, and uh, I believe someone else asked as well. It was Finn. If you're just joining, like Benji is, we're currently going into the final stage of Paranese. We've just had stage seven, the Queen stage. We were second to Banal, obviously, with uh, with Rigo. And we're 42 seconds down in the GC. It's uh, a two-way battle. Lopez isn't winning a time trial. At least I hope not. And it's on Coldez. So here we go. Coldez TT. Prediction started. Will around win, win the GC. Thanks for that, Morty. Get your predictions in, guys. Time trial, 9.8k. Coldez is a steep time trial. Can we overcome the 40 second deficit? Let's go. Let's get into it. No worries, Matiago. You join us just in time to uh, to finish off the uh, GC of Paranese. Jonathan's still going for TJ in yellow. I mean, you're dreaming. You're dreaming, man. Yeah, no worries, you bunny. I mean, if you can't do it, don't worry. I mean, yeah. Finn said he heard Banal minus five and around plus five. We've got some big points on this. But yeah, I know your bunny and some other people can't do it. So I, I apologise, guys. I really do. Anyway. This is the TT. It's it's very, very steep the whole way. Oh my words. This is brutal. This is brutal. Flynn, have you gone no again? Really, man? <laughs> so let's test this out. I'll go 73 with Scully. And he's got 55 mountain. Our boy Tom Scully. That's too quick. We'll go 72. <laughs> Aram will do a Pogacha like TT. We'll see you, Jonathan. Get your predictions in, guys. Five minutes. I'm not going to show you the... um. The race days. Yeah, you're banning. Yeah, but if I, I, it may not be my fault, but I feel bad still. Because, you know, I'm saying I'll get your votes in. Maybe I shouldn't say that. Just vote if you want. Scully, going to push it 99 to the line. Let's see where Tom Scully finishes. Last. 
<laughs> it's lost. 55 mountain, even I would have better mountain and, and I'm not a pro cyclist. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> we love Scully here, dissection, but um, he's not the best mountain rider. Let's put it that way. But he did win a stage of um, Tour Down Under, a sprint stage. So uh, we, we, uh, we love him for that. Benji's got 1.1k. 1.1k on yes, my man. Mate, I mean, so so have more of you guys voted yes than no? Remember we're 40 seconds down here, guys. <laughs> Don't forget that part. So Valgren's underway. We'll try and just go 73 with him, see how that works. Benji is a believer. Thanks for the points, Benji. <laughs> Taylor, you've been you've been against me all day today. It's really starting to get to me. <laughs> so first split, Valgren is one minute and ten down. It's all about the race day, really is. It's a really nice stage though. Really beautiful stage to be fair, Coldes. Anyway, Benji, I hope you've had a good day and anyone else just joining. Two minutes left. Yeah, get them on if you're if you're up for it. Scully goat. He will he will get first from behind. <laughs> yeah, I wish Finn. I wish. <laughs> oh, dissection. You you've gone uh, that you get seventy for cobbles. You're a bit of a cobble specialist, are you? Is that right? Is that right, my man? So Craddock. Okay, we've had some. I think we've had minus race days throughout so far. Let's hope this isn't a, uh, a trend. Yeah, Benji, we saw your new turbo trainer arrived. We were just, I think someone mentioned that, actually. Yeah, Benji, I mean, that's what they all say. Mine as well, um, under eights by 100 watts, actually. Um, it's, it's incredible, incredibly annoying. But um, I'm actually 100 watts below what it says. <laughs> they all say it. <laughs> I don't think there's a Zwifter that claims they're... Uh, they're um, trainer isn't under watts. Craddock goes 39th. This is not going well so far. So I'm in the best form ever by just getting a new trainer. <laughs> yeah. The roads around my city are probably worse. Potholes everywhere because the council are incompetent. <laughs> That's a shame. That's a shame, Asiago. Yeah, I mean, dissection, to be fair. If you're a cobbled specialist, we love to see that. Benji, the Zwift legends. I've been on. I've been on Zwift. Uh, I've been on Zwift with Benji a few times, at least once I remember. But yeah, maybe we can get a ride going. We had rumours of Benji. We need a YTC cycling stream. <laughs> if you, if you and Blackwall are up for it, Benji, I'm down as well. <laughs> Put it that way. We'll have a little race, shall we? <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. I do recall your underperformance on the PCM words with Ride Benji. Yeah, that was the one. That was the one for him. You were on that as well. Uh, Julipson, thanks for the follow. Appreciate that. Welcome into the stream. We're on the final stage right now of Paris. Coldes time trial. We're trying to win the uh, win the GC with Rigo. Rigo around. Welcome in. Hope you're good. Say uh, say hello in the chat. All right. So TJ gets a nice day. We'll see what time he can do here. Then we'll put him seventy six. Um. Yeah, Benji, you claimed you punctured on Zwift. I still don't believe that. <laughs> I do not believe that. That's impossible, right? All right. Awesome. So, uh, vote's over, right? Okay, okay. YTC, YTC Zwift race. I mean, if we can get Hausler involved as well again, <laughs> that'd be good. <laughs> oh, dear. Benji, uh, I'm looking forward to that then. I'm looking forward to that. Ah, this is going to be difficult because TJ are uh, not in the best time. Um, I don't know if he has Zwift actually, Jusui. I'm not sure. So Jonas has gone no, Jusui, Jonathan's gone no, Benji's gone yes, Matiago yes. Yeah, Benji, but you didn't show that it punctured mid-ride, right? <laughs> right, TJ, let's see where he finishes. We're getting to the business end right now. It's all about the mountains that really is, this, uh, this TT, although Rowan Dennis... Second. Okay. Yabani, you know Benji didn't didn't remember to take the energy gel. Obviously not. He 
He's never remembered that. So Hoguita gets a nice day. Plus three for little Sergio in the white jersey. Um, we need that for TJ, don't we? That's what we need. Yeah, we'll see, Jonas. We'll see. <laughs> Not quite Masiago. He didn't quite get the stage, did, uh, did poor TJ. 40 seconds. Even the water bottle was forgotten. <laughs> Excellent stuff. Right, so GC-wise, top six. We have Alaphilippe, who's dropped to sixth. Um, Barde, Pino, Lopez. A round getting underway. It's a good race day. Oh, it's a plus four. Oh, oh, oh. oh it's a plus four. It's plus four. I'm tempted to play this TT at times one. <laughs> I'll never do that. Let's get a good look at the man. Come on, Rigo. Up, Coldez. Let's go, plus four. Yeah, Benji, you need a, f a fan if you don't, by the way. <laughs> Good shout, uh, Je suis. Well, well, well. You are uh, you, um, non-believers. You're aggressing that now, right? Drop this to 78. Oh, this is just difficult. This is just difficult the entire way. So, Aguita's, uh, he's still struggling. So, we have Alaphilippe, who's losing a lot of time. Barde is doing okay. Pino's doing okay. We have Lopez next. Lopez is first. What? You believe, Jonathan, uh, Matiago. Love that. But I'm not sure I do, because... Let's see. <laughs> 29 seconds down. But... Uh, <laughs> plus four day. Look, he's catching us. He's catching us. It's not happening, I'm afraid. Oh, boy. Be healthier, Benji. Don't do that to your body. I've got this personal trainer right now, and he was like, you eat like a thousand calories under what you need to. Come on, Benji. Yeah, uh, guys, it's not happening. It's not happening for sure. <laughs> uh, I think the no's are going to win this one. Let's see then. Is Lopez going to win a time trial? Yes. Yes, he is. Ah, oh, I thought we had a chance, but Bernal's going to take it, I'm afraid. Push it to the line, Rigo. 44 seconds down, but now it's rigged. How can you get a... Pl what more could I have done? <laughs> oh, boy. At least we hold on for a second, just about. Bernal wins Paris-Nice. Jonathan's three of three on the predictions. I'm on uh, Extreme C uh, CB My 69. I'm on Extreme. 1.1, 1. 1. 1, I think. Uh, but yeah, second place. I thought with a good day, we could do better there. But yeah, mountain mountain TTs are so weird. They can be great. They can be terrible. It wasn't a good one, was it? So you people with lots of channel points, enjoy that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm just on extreme. I think it's 1.1. 1. 1. Um, and yeah, mountain TTs, they need to fix it. Let's be real, I think. Um, <laughs> three Colombians on the podium of Paris Nice. I know, right, Finn? Twenty-seven k for name a new gen. Yeah, Jonathan. I've got um, I've got a few um channel point rewards. If you've got any suggestions, just let me know. Um, because I'm not quite sure what we can put there. All right. So yeah, I think this is all fine. I've set this up already. Cool. That's fine. Ice Waxen, welcome in. Hope you're good. Hope you've had a good day. So yeah, as Benji says, I'm on 1.1 difficulty instead of 1.05, which uh, makes it a bit more difficult in the time trials in particular. But I thought the Madsen we could do okay. All right, so uh, we've got a sprint one in Toreno here. Let's get it. Um, the man's so mad he made a difficulty above the highest by changing... <laughs> Yeah, that's the thing, Benji. Like, I actually consider putting the difficulty down back to normal for time trials. But if you go for if you go for one point one, you got to stick with it, right? Got to stick with it. But the mountains, the mountains that matters too much in PCM. Yeah, for for the mountain TTs, I know I know what you mean, Morty. I mean Lopez having eighty three mountain. It's also not a good stat. Statting. <laughs> you, you disagree with that, do you, the big dog? 
Yeah, I mean, to be fair, he won on the Calder Loss. No worries, dissection. Hope you enjoyed it, mate. Catch you later. Uh, yeah, to be fair, in some of my content, um, CB, my, I do put it down to normal because I've noticed it in the time trials. Um, but yeah, that that I actually do do that sometimes for T-Mobile um, just because there's nothing you can really do about it. Maybe I should do it in the stream as well. In the last one, people said we should not do that. So um, yeah, I'll do whatever you guys prefer, basically. But um I've done it before in my in my saves. I've put it down in the time trial because yeah, it's it's just unrealistic. I know the second reads were adjusted to compensate, but he's still OP. No worries, Benji. See you, mate. Hey, you've had a good. Hey, you've had a, a nice little drop in. Have a good evening, man. So anyway, we do now have a uh, a flat stage today at Torreno. And we have Biska on a plus three day. Let's see what we can do there. We'll try and uh, get through the stage quite quickly because I don't expect too much action, to be fair. Um, Rumi, how are you? Oh, Benji, far too kind of you. Far too kind of you. And Finn5305, the uh, or Finn5, where, where did the O come from? Finn535. A new subscriber. Cheers, Benji, man. Appreciate that very, very much. Far too kind of you. Cheers, dude. Thank you, mates. Have a good evening, man. Appreciate you dropping in. And uh, appreciate that that gifts up very much. There you are, Finn. Benji Goat. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Cheers, Benji, again. It's weird that... It's weird because the flat TTs are fine often, but the mount some mountain ones are weird, some are not. I mean, it's PCM, right? <laughs> like I said, it's not as deep as FM, it seems, in uh, a variety of ways. Rumi, how are you? Matiago with a gift sub. Just we is now a subscriber. Guys, thank you. Matiago, thank you. Appreciate that a lot. Appreciate that a lot. I mean, a lot of people, a lot, I've noticed a lot of streamers, when someone subscribes, they say, oh, sub hype in the chat, sub hype in the chat. But um, do, I, do you say that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but thank you, Matiago. Really kind of you. Um, I do appreciate it. And just we, a new subscriber. You are, you are also kindness. Oh, yeah, they really are, Jonas. They really are. Taylor will win a lot if you don't get top five here. Is Taylor the only one to go no again? Taylor, are you you're really against me today? Really against me today? <laughs> Maybe we could try and push it on these climbs, but I don't think they're difficult enough, to be fair. Yeah, thanks again, Matiago. Appreciate that. That gifts up. So, in the break, we have Stander Wolf and no one really else. Um, yeah, this is going to be a sprint, I believe. But let's try. Let's see what we can do right now. Let us see. Not with the biscuit on a plus three. <laughs> yeah, we'll see, Taylor. We'll see if you're right. I'm going to try and push this right now. On this climb right here. Let's go to 90. See if we can drop some riders. I don't think we will. Let's be real. <laughs> it's not very long. I'm feeling toxic today. Yeah, clearly, Taylor. Clearly you are. <laughs> How do these predictions work if only one person votes on an option? Yeah, so basically, Flynn, uh, I think the points are split between the winners. So if, yeah, if one person votes one point and the rest... Uh, so if, one, if there's 10 points on no and 100 points on yes, those points are then split among the winners, I believe. Uh, we've dropped a few riders, have we? We've dropped Marexo. Love to see it. There was a fool, I guess, without me noticing. And uh, Ballerini's out the back, but um, let's let's just stop this. Let's go to finish. <laughs> Where did my other gifted sub go, though? Haha, <laughs> I check. Yeah, Morty, I'll uh, I'll check that because basically, when you gifted it, I I usually have an activity feed, and it says. Um, it says you've gifted two tier one subs and then only one sub has come of it. So I'll check that out for you um, after the stream. It might have to be. But um, yeah, I'll check it. Don't worry. Marexo is half Polish. Someone from his family is Polish. Oh, is he? Because he's uh, Italian, right? And he's back in now. All right, so 90k to go. Let's, um, let's speed this up, shall we? And I think we'll finish... We'll finish Torreno. What time is it? We've been streaming just over two hours. So 
We'll see how long it takes to finish this race, and then we might squeeze in Milan San Remo to uh, finish the stream today, I think, I think, guys. That'd be a nice way to end it, going for our first monument. All right, so we'll get some uh, H2A. It's a five minute gap right now. I think it will be okay. Uh, but yeah, like I said, we'll go for MSR. I think we will have time for that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but Jonathan, how much of it are we gonna have at times one? <laughs> Let's be real. We're waiting for the finish, right? At Milan San Remo. <laughs> Yeah, the big dog. I mean, Benji came in here and I forgot to get water. I don't think that's coincidence, right? I really don't. I don't think that's coincidence at all. Jonathan, you want to do it at times one? Um, I happily will if you're up for that. <laughs> really would. All right. But um, I don't think you are up for that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, thanks. Yeah, exactly the big dog. Benji enters... Water is forgotten. Terrible stuff. Do a personal stream for Jonathan with times one. <laughs> there'll, be, there'll only be one viewer left. Jonathan, the only man left here for the times one <laughs> of Milan San Remo. Oh, dear. Oh, my word. I've literally gone to sleep on this stage. Oh, my word. I've just, I've literally just noticed the situation we're in. Oh, nightmare. Look at this. The break are going to win it. Oh, God. That is a nightmare. That is an absolute shocker. I've had a shocker there. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> oh, Taylor. Taylor's so happy. Oh no. Oh. Oh, I'm so sorry, everyone else. I'll, I'll try and bring him in. I'm, I'm really trying. I'm pushing the, I'm pushing the rhythm. Oh God. It's four minutes, it's coming down. I what have I done? What have I done? 10k to go, it's four minutes still. They've won the stage. I'm so sorry to everyone. <laughs> oh no. Wait, 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 wait. Pause, so we need the top five by finishing first in this group, okay. Okay, it's possible. Okay. Let's not panic. Let's not panic. I'll panic for a second there, but we don't need to panic. We can still get top five, right? Breakaway takes this stage. Biska needs to be first of this group to deny Taylor. Does EF stand for extreme failure? Ah. Oh. I don't know what to say, Taylor. <laughs> anyway, we've lost all our lead out men here. Up the roads, what's happening? Stand the Wolf takes the win. We completely missed that. Oh, no. 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 Yeah, I took him out. I took him out, Flynn. It's too late. Call it off. Call off the stream. <laughs> oh. Oh no, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry everyone who, uh, who went yes there. That is, uh, that's my bad, <laughs> never in doubt. Oh, I was just chilling, you know, watching the chat. Watching the chat, suddenly five minute gap, 20k to go. Taylor, enjoy that. Enjoy that. That was uh, a shocker from me, I'm sorry guys. Sorry to all the yeses. <laughs> oh dear me. Oh, I'm speechless. I'm speechless, that is my bad. Sorry guys, anyway, okay, so, yeah, final, t all right, so, who was it? It was CB, CB Mai, was it? Is that his name? Um, anyway, whoever said, we'll go, we'll put this TT, right? I've got normal set to extreme, so this is the, the extreme difficulty. We'll try it, at, uh, we'll try it at this difficulty and see if you prefer it. We'll do it that way. And let's see if you guys prefer it this way. Because this is now standard at stream. I know it says normal, but this is 1.05. Um, it's gonna lose this ITT as prediction. Yeah, Jonathan, that's a uh, that's a good one. <laughs> Appreciate the generous donations. We'll see, Finn. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see if it saves it. But yeah, Jonathan, that's a good one. If you want to do that, if you want to do that as a prediction. Um, but again, I feel bad for the people who can't do it. 
Okay, so we need to speed this up. We've got 86 riders until we get underway, but this is now at a normal extreme. So we'll see um, if you prefer it this way. And then we can decide if you want to stick with that, as has been su suggested, or we can go back to uh, my other difficulty. MSR win incoming. Are you sure, Matiago? Are you sure? How much will Ghana win by we've gone for? What, 30? Oof. It's a 10k CT here. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. That's a bit, I mean, I, it could happen. It suits him perfectly, right? It's Ghana and it's PCM. That is very true, Morty. Get the camera set up. Okay, guys, so let's have one last look at the GC here at Torreno. Remco is going to win it probably, unless Wout van Aert pulls something out the bag. We have Fusang, Matthews, Caruso. I'm so annoyed about Carthy on that Queen stage. I mean, just completely bottled it, didn't he? Taylor's gone to. Taylor's put all of that. On the more than 30 seconds. I mean, Taylor, <laughs> we'll see if you, we'll see what happens. <laughs> so Taylor's gone for Ghana to win by more than 30 seconds. And I assume the rest of you are going under. Love that, Taylor. Love that from you. All right, so Jimmy Whelan first to get underway for us. We'll test it out at 76. My lovely, lovely minus four to start. <laughs> yeah, Taylor's, Taylor's been generous, right? Because we, we, um, I kind of ruined you guys in that last one. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, this is now normal difficulty. So hopefully we can uh, compete for this TT a bit more. And Bass is going to start by trying to do that. So Kung has the best time right now. I think we can get third, can we? Let's see. Sixth, okay. So, yeah, we're still some way down. Maybe this is definitely the way to go. <laughs> We'll see, guys, what happens there. Is it only Taylor who went for yes? <laughs> That's jokes. That really is jokes. <laughs> 1k on because of Venipool. Or oh, no, because of Venipool, yeah. And Van Arts. And Kung, I think Dennis is here as well. Dennis might... Actually, no, Dennis was at uh, Pyrenees, wasn't he? Okay, so Guerrero did okay in this TT at the moment. What does chat think about Froome? Jonas, what do you mean? About in the Tour de France or at UAE? Because um, I'd like him to do well. Hang on, has Ghana been? Don't think he has, right? He hasn't started yet. We'll, we'll make sure to watch Ghana when he gets underway. I think he's 20, 22nd in GC. So we'll watch Ghana. We'll watch him home. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Threw him a big talent, I guess. Let's see what he can do in the future. Yeah, Finn. I mean, that guy could win four Tour de France's. I'm, I'm sure of it. Something tells me he could win four Tour de France, but definitely no more than four. And also maybe three other Grand Tours. Just something about him makes me think that. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is that makes me um, makes me truly believe he'll win exactly four Tour de France. So it's Kung and Kra Anson time uh, tides. I think Ghana's gonna have to go well under 11 minutes in this TT. He's going to have a chance of uh, coming over 30 seconds. And he's about to get underway, I think. We've got Bessio, though, first split before that. It's, it's because he's bold. bold. Bold people are good cyclists. Is that it, Jonathan? Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> Here he is, the world champion, the man you've been waiting for. Pippo Ganna, I mean, if he if he does win this by more than 30 seconds, he's in good form because he's he's top 25. <laughs> imagine imagine if he does it. Yeah, I know, right, Finn? How have I predicted that? How have I done it? Froome is the best TDF rider not to take PDs. <laughs> yeah, he might be. <laughs> so, Ganna, let's see where he is at the first split. Betio was 24th. Here we are. So it needs to be about 15 seconds right now. He's two seconds ahead. Ah, he's two seconds. It's going to be have to be one hell of a second, second half of this TT for uh, Pippo Ghana. <laughs> oh well, <laughs> 4K on the next one, yeah, Taylor. Oh dear. Um, 
Yeah, we'll watch him home now, I think. <laughs> we'll just, uh, let's um, pause it quickly. Carthy up to speed. All right, so back to Ghana, into the final kilometer. Imagine if he wins by 31 seconds right here. It's going to be six seconds. Six seconds. Uh, I kind of wanted him to get the, get the gap there. That would have been just too funny. <laughs> that would have been great. But anyway. <laughs> yeah, Morty, I thought it'd do a bit better as well. But it seems he's going to win it. Anyway, we've got Biska, who, who could get a top 10 for sure. He's got seven, he's got 81 prologue. 81 prologue has Biska. And he does go 8th place. Okay. So let's just see how the GC unfolds now. So Pog is 6th. Pog's going to gain some places. Demulan as well. Now, let's see if he even wins. I don't know if Ghana's going to win this TT. Potsavivo is, is catching David Godu. Okay. Look at the, what's going on here. I guess he's got some fairly good TT stats. But um, Potsavivo, he had a plus five. He had a plus five. He went top four there. Okay, Remco's third and Van Aert's not going to win it. Okay. Yeah, very generous of you, Taylor. Personal refunds. Very generous of you. <laughs> so, Van Aert crosses the line. He's terrible, TT. And can Remco beat Ghana? No, he cannot. So, Ghana does win it. Six seconds was all. Six, sec uh, six seconds was all over that uh, distance. It will be Remco who wins. What on earth? I mean, Michael Matthews is second and Van Aert is third here at this Torano. That is... Uh, that's a turn up. I didn't expect to see that. That's for sure. Rob Stannard top 10 as well. Yeah, top 10. I mean, where was he in the end? Pozzo was, was fifth. Pozzo against these guys. That, that's, a, that's a time. That's a time. PCM results. Yeah, no, that's not too surprising. That is true. But Michael Matthews second is a big surprise. Okay, guys. So one more race. One more race. One more race today before we finish up the stream. And it's going to be Milano San Remo. It's going to be the first monument. PCM, go home, you're drunk. Yeah. <laughs> Jonathan, don't suggest times one MSR. Do not suggest times one MSR. We'll be here till tomorrow morning. Oh. <laughs> We're not doing that. We can't do that. But yeah, this will be the final, uh, final race, guys. Will Joe finish MSR in the next 30 minutes? <laughs> and I can just tease you, right? Putting times one. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair Flynn I might not it's a long race it's a long race <laughs> but yeah like you can't really win channel points you have to share them I guess with the um, predictions like they're not created they're just shared if that makes sense alright guys can we get a monument can we get our first monument at our first attempts Let's uh, let's check our team because I've set up the uh, teams up until the Giro, I think. Um, yeah, you meant from Taylor. Yeah, yeah, I thought so. <laughs> so if you can, if you want to, you can get your predictions in. What's it going to be this time? Will MSR be finished in a sprint? Oh, that's a contentious one. So, um, okay, so we've got Betiol. Betiol's our leader. Betiol's our leader. Magnus Court maybe as well. But I think Betiol has to be our leader here. Um, you can see it's a pretty weak team to be fair. But the rest... If we go to the... Uh, let's just check the planner quickly. Because I haven't checked this for some time. Yeah, good good, uh, good question there, Morty. So Betiol is, is going to just be our out and out leader. Like I could bring Biska. I'll bring Biska as well. And I'll drop Mitch Docker. Okay, that's fine. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll bring Biska as well. And I do need to remember now to put this back to its stream. So we're back to normal. Okay. Uh, so it's Docker for Biska. Okay, so we'll bring an extra third leader, I guess, with uh, Biska, Kors, and Betiol. Let's go. Let's get it. Come on, guys. Let's get a monument. We're on extreme just to check. Let's go. Let's go. Um... 
yeah, so the question is, I can I can sleep real good with the times one. <laughs> yeah, very good, Jonathan. Very good. If a solo attack wins as part of a group with six or more, is that fair? I would define a sprint as a group with six or more. Yeah, yeah, we'll do it. We'll do it so it's an actual sprint, like not with PCM time gaps. Hello, Lobas. Welcome, man. You joined just in time for the final race of the episodes. I'll, I'll cut to the uh, to this scene. Oh, not that one. I'll cut to this one. That was smooth. Um, but yeah, you joined just in time from Land San Remo. We've come second at Paris Nice. Um, we've come about 15th uh, to Renault. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're going to try and win Milan San Remo with Alberto Betio, okay? Yeah, I mean, it, it'll be clear if it's a if it's a sprint or not, I think. Um, don't worry, we, we can decide that after. If it, if it's contentious, if it's a contentious one. But yeah, hope you've had a good day, Lobas, and anyone else just joining the stream. Um... God, this is taking a little while to load in, I'm afraid. Yeah, it'll be clear. Exactly, Yabani. Exactly, exactly. Just came back from work. Hope that went well, Lobas. Hope you had a good time. Hope it wasn't too bad, at least. Interesting. Let's bend the ru bend rules for for it to be a sprint. Yeah, big dog. Big dog's gone for a sprint. <laughs> Fair enough. And maybe, you know, will I play for a sprint or will I go for a, a Bessio Bet attack or a Biscuit sprint? I don't know. I don't know yet. <laughs> what do you think? So, we get some race days. Bessiel gets a zero. Bessiel gets a zero race day. Ah, uh, court minus one and Bisca a zero. That's going to be difficult. Um, that's going to be a difficult to win, I think. Very difficult. We'll give it a go, as always. So, uh, let's go like that. So, yeah. Would have liked some better race days, for sure. It's so funny to me that Taylor only says yes when it's not about Joe. Yeah, <laughs> finally we get a yes from Taylor and it's and it's not wishing me to do well, right? I mean, what's that about? <laughs> oh, but times one, but times one. Sorry, sorry, Jonathan. Times one the whole way. <laughs> I wouldn't, do, I wouldn't do it to you guys. I really wouldn't. Let's bend the rules. It isn't. Jo Matiago is going for it not to be a sprint. Okay. If Cavendish isn't sprinting, so there is no sprint. <laughs> so, so this is a long race. We can put our heads back, heads back, on our heads, relax. So, Yabo Yace tomorrow, guys. Yabo Yace tomorrow. You eat or who's winning? Let, let's have your predictions. In the uh, first 200k of this race. <laughs> I think, I think... Thing is, Pogacar's won a stage. I don't think he'll be desperate to win another. So, do you think, the big dog, you've got Pog wins easy. Thing is, he was desperate to win the GC this year. He's won that. He's won a stage. Will he be desperate to win tomorrow? I'm not actually sure. Um, so, I might go for Higuita. Might go for a little Sergio Higuita, actually. Betio's acceleration got downgraded. In my save, it started at 79. Oh, really, Finn? Was that with the World DB? Because, yeah, he's 75 here. So, we've got the big dog. Pogo wins easy. Morty says Adam Yates. That's interesting. Um, wait, Swagson, what did, you, what did you go for? Did you do a big big vote or something? I missed that if you did. Um, Taylor's gone. Is that Matthias Frank Taylor you've gone for? The stage win? Am I am I mistaken? <laughs> um, okay, Swaxon just voted five k points. Fair fair play, fair play, Swaxon. <laughs> what did what did he go for? Um, not actually sure. I don't know how to check. <laughs> I'll be honest. Swaxon's gone all in. Uh, but yeah, I think the slopes will suit Almeida. Just we yeah, I agree with you. I think Almeida will like tomorrow. That's another name maybe to look out for. But I think Higuisa will uh, will win it. That's my little shout. Harm Van Hooker. Ooh, Lobas. I like that. I like that. That's a that's a decent shout for sure. You might do. Swagson went sprint. Okay, half in. <laughs> yeah, you've racked up the channel points, Swagson. Love to see it. Love to see that, my man. Hopefully you don't lose half of them here. <laughs> 
Yeah, Jonathan, we're times eight. All, all trains ahead. <laughs> we can't we can't be we can't be times wanting all of this race, right? Oh my word. Uh, but anyway, we will check the break. The break we have um Conti, Amai, Samitie. Jakob Marexo is in the breakaway at Milan San Remo. Oh, that I love to see. That I really love to see. So uh Big Dog's gone. I think Pogba will go for the stage. Dude just always loves to go for it. Yeah, I mean, you're right. <laughs> you're right, I'm probably wrong. <laughs> He'll almost definitely go for it. If this doesn't end in a sprint, I will get a lot of points. There you go, Matiago. Now Lobas, to be fair, I think Van Hooker showed great form and he's got a bit of a kick, I think, as well. So uh he's got a bit of a sprint finish, which I think it will be tomorrow. I think it'll be five or ten riders sprinting for it. Maybe ten. I don't think it'd be a breakaway, probably. Exactly, Jonathan, for Bjorg. I love that he, he does that hashtag after every one of his tweets, right? Does uh, Van Hooker. And clearly, you know, he's still in his thoughts. I'm hoping for Almeida because I guess him as the winner of UAE Tour and prediction game. <laughs> Fair enough. I mean, I, I don't think he's going to win the GC, I'm afraid. I think Polk is definitely going to win the GC. Swagson, let's see. Let's see. We're on the climb right now, right? Let's see if Marekso, uh, Marekso can stay here over this climb. <laughs> Would be funny if he if he didn't. Yeah, the thing is, Morty, I think he's more of a steep climber, Yates. Than a, it's not very steep tomorrow, yeah, by Yates. So I don't actually... I'm not certain whether I'm... Um, whether it suits Yates tomorrow. We'll see though. He's clearly in good form. Marekso was born in Poland. Was he really? Yeah, we'll see, Matiago. I mean, he's still here. He's done it. Marekso stays over a 1.4% climb. <laughs> oh, you love to see it. You really do. That is jokes. Yeah, fear. I mean... You've just literally given away um, Marezzo's tactic. I don't know why he didn't do that. He'd have won the race. I mean, would have given up by now. The peloton would have stopped riding if he'd attack right there. Marezzo probably has zero energy left. Oh, I mean, poor Marezzo, right? We just abuse him. <laughs> uh, Jonathan, I think it's 54. If I remember. Uh, yeah, 54 and 56 hill. There, there are his stats. Can you see? Yeah. If you go into Wikipedia, it says he was born in 19... Oh, really, Yabani? That's interesting. Yes, Emery, you've joined in time for MSR. Here we go. First chance at a, uh, at a monument. Teo Noob as well. Nice and Noob. Which pure sprinter is the best mountain rider? Um, Nizolo, maybe. I would say Morty. Or Marexo. <laughs> no, but seriously, I would say uh, Nizolo, I guess. Can't think of another. Sagan? Is he a pure sprinter? Don't know. But yeah, I think Nizolo's good. You agree? That's always good. <laughs> so, 123k to go now, guys, in this one. Nizolo did really well in Yabba Hafid. Yeah, he did. He did. And that's mainly why I'm saying it. <laughs> I think he beat Valverde. Actually. Maybe. Yeah, you can't call Wout Van Aert a uh, pure sprinter, Jonathan. Surely. Surely not. <laughs> Alright, so along the seafront, I think, right now. Still a long way to go. But I think Betiol could still be our man here. We've got to go all in for Betiol, I believe. That's our tactic. Demar, maybe. Maybe fair. Maybe. He sometimes is good. He's a bit inconsistent on the uh, the old climb system. Uh, but yeah, good chap. He's probably one of the, one of the uh, top best of the pure sprinters. Um, trying to think who else. Can't think who else. Maybe I'm missing someone. Any chance that Matthew Van Der Poel could turn out as good of a climber as Wout Van Aert? I think there is. We haven't really seen him yet. Um, my good pal Blackwall actually told me he believes Van Der Poel could have won on Yebo Yes. 
And I'd have loved to see, see him do these climbs because I don't know what he could have done at the UAE. Christoph is okay at climbing. Yeah. I'll call him a pure sprinter, actually. I would. Christoph. Viviani is okay at climbing. I remember him remember him climbing well at DQS. Yeah. He's alright. I wouldn't say so. Not for me. I mean, he's done he's done well before, like you said, it's a clinic, but again, other times he's been horrendous at climbing. Damara's good at climbing by using the door of a car. <laughs> Very true, Jonathan. Very true. <laughs> Love that from you. <laughs> he clings onto them for dear life, right? Absolutely clings onto them. So we've got... Oh, right. Swagson. That's why he said it. I was a bit like, why are Teo Gegenhart and Narsen noobs? But yeah, that's why. Narsen and Teo Gegenhart are not going to win this year's Milan San Remo. But who could? Let's see. We've got Wout van Aert, Pedersen, Sagan. No, um... Oh, Alaphilippe is here. Okay. And Vanderpool's here as well, I believe. Is Vanderpool here? No, he's not. He's not. There's no Vanderpool here. But um, Va Van Arts, Pedersen, and Alaphilippe are my favourites for this one. Narsen caught behind his surprising yard. Ah, oh, that was it, Swagson. I honestly, I miss every fall in PCM. If it pops up here, I just don't see it. I, re I just don't see it. I don't know what happens. I don't know what happens. I just completely miss it. More CEO cheering on Kristoff. Not sure about that. Oh, where's he, Lobas? Alpsin. There they are. Okay, I was looking for a Dutch flag for the team for some reason. <laughs> Not quite sure why that was. Yeah, Finn. I, I was probably like, where is Vanderpool? Where is he? Where is he? <laughs> right? <laughs> Horrible stuff. Anyway, let's get to the front. Yeah, <laughs> then that's literally what I did. Literally what I did. Oh dear. Never get surprised by a fall on to cheat. Yeah, it always happens, Swaxton. Really does. It, we were lucky that um, none of our riders went down. So, all right, 48k to go. We are now entering what could be a decisive couple of moments. All right, so I'm going to do this actually. Let's put some guys on the front. Betio, Visca, Quartz can sit in. Um, okay, so we've got a few riders trying to get to the front. Use their gels to try and push it a bit. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> I mean, you can tell when, when I'm uh, out of gas in the stream, right? <laughs> oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? I swear I do that as well in videos. I'm like, right, I'm... And we've got Peter Sagan here. And I'm like, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Um, I can't see him. There he is. You know. And I have to always uh, cut it out. So I'm glad you guys get to see it as well in uh, in real time. Right. 40k to go. There's been no real tempo so far. Morexo. Morexo is surviving in this breakaway, by the way. He's doing all right. <laughs> I'm focusing. I'm focused, Jonathan. Don't worry. I'm focused. Chipressa. 8k to go to the Chipressa. We have Betty Old Court and Bisca. One of them is going to be the winner of this race very shortly, I'm telling you. Why won't these guys relay? Go to 90 if you will. By the way, how nice is Alex Howe's jersey? I'm trying to focus, Jonathan. Really am. <laughs> so, right, here we are. 4K to go. 4K to go. This is um oh, what are they doing? Logan Owen, you should be there. But at least we have um Alex Howes right here. Okay, so Whelan can also go to front now. And Court can protect Betio. I will put Bisca on his wheel, actually. What are you doing? Why has he dropped so far back? Well, we'll see, Jonas. I mean, you, you, I think there's... We'll just stick to one prediction at a time. I think otherwise it gets a bit overkill. But anyway, right, here we go. Chipressa, let's go, boys. Come on. Let's go. Right, we can use some gels. Betty or just stay at the front. Just stay at the front. Stay calm. First climb. Whoo. Come on. Right. We'll take it steady. 26k to go. We have uh, Nibbly working on the front, I guess, for uh, Mads Pedersen. And uh, Whelan can't hold that gap. Come on, Betty Just please get his wheel. 
You've had it. Just sit up, guys. Just sit up, house. Stop. Just stop. These guys can stop. Okay, so we still got Bessie Old Court and Bisca at the front of this race. Over the Chapressa and uh, Nibali and Chicone have really laying down a uh, tempo there. Hello, Mario. Welcome, man. Welcome to the stream. You join at a apt time, I guess, because we're entering the final 20k of our first monument. We've had a uh, up and down day, some good results. We've just finished the Chapressa, though. Of Milan San Remo. Yeah, exactly. Mario joining at the perfect moment, I must say, because um, Poggio awaits us and hopefully Betio will be descending it um, in first place. Hey, you've had a good day, Mario, and, and uh, anyone else just joining. Right, here we are. Let's go like this, actually. So, Magnus Court on the front for our boys. These guys uh, can just chill. 75. But Court has our guys on the front. What I want to do here is just stay on the front until we get to the foot of the Poggio. Let's see if this works. Uh, Lobas, he's not my leader. He's on a minus one day. Betiol was actually a better sprinter because he's got better acceleration. I'm all in for Betiol, basically. Um, maybe we go for Bisca, but I want to try and... Is that an attack? If I go there. Oh, it's interesting. Pippo Ganna on the attack right now in Milan San Remo. Love to see it. Anyway, yeah, I'm killing Court because he's not my leader, but Ganna going for the win. Um, maybe I'll regret it, Lobas. We'll see. But uh, Court is not going to be competing for this Milan San Remo. But he's put Bessio in one hell of a great position right now. He can go 99. Now Bisca, 99. Move over, Court. Oh, sorry. Sorry, comrades. Um, look at this tempo by uh, Bisca. 99, 99. Keep it going. Uh, we'll try and get to this corner right here. And then Betio is going to go. Oh, it's a hard tempo. Here we are. betio has gone. Mm. Mm. No, we're not gone. We're not gone at all. Michael Matthews is still here. Oh, this is difficult. This is difficult. Yeah, no idea, Lobas. I'm using uh, the word DB, my man. Ah, we can't get away. We can't get away. Right. It's all about Bessio. It's all about Bessio for us. <laughs> yeah, Lobas. <laughs> Don't ask me. I'm asking you. Right. Attacking the descent. Bessio's gone. Bessio's gone. Stannard trying to follow. Bessio is attacking away, though, in this descent, hopefully. Stannard, not the best descender. Are we gone? Here we are. On to the flat section. Bessio. Betio has gone. Betio going from Milan San Remo. Stannard is coming. We have Pedersen, Ewan, Valerini coming tomorrow as well. Betio going for the line. 900 meters. Come on, Alberto. Come on, my man. Oh, it's so close. It's so close. Let's go. Let's go. Monument win for Betio. Let's go. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. Let's go. Come on, guys. Come on. We are pumped about that. Nah, that's not a sprint. I think that's a solo win. Second monument of Alberto Betiol's career. You're right, Lobas. He wins Milan San Remo, adding to his Ronde of Valandrin. Whew. Whew. Cheers, Jonas. Cheers, everyone. Cheers, guys. That was a solo win. <laughs> I'm afraid to say. Oh, dear. But yeah, cheers guys. Cheers for the uh, cheers for voting on that. Cheers for um, watching. Caleb Ewan was seconds. Yeah, I, I don't know what happens. I just couldn't attack away at all on that on the Poggio. No, you are just we. I mean, you win some, you lose some. But anyway, we win this one, and we're we're happy about that. Oh, that feels good. I mean, I just in the spur of the moment, I was like, right, we go right now, and they uh, didn't follow. They didn't follow. Oh, come on. We're happy about that. I, I thought they were going to catch us as well. I was. I, I didn't want to celebrate, but I was trying to find the button to celebrate across the line. <laughs> yeah, Mario. Yeah, we've, we've tried a few uh, predictions today. Cheers, everyone who uh, shouted about that in the, uh, in the chat. Look at this. I mean, look at that. Usually it's a much smaller group. 
Otherwise, without Bessie, all you guys who said yes to the sprint would have won that. <laughs> just held it. Just held it. There he is. His home monument. Oh, it's a good feeling. Come on. <laughs> Cheers, Emery. Cheers, everyone else. Sorry, uh, I, I mean, no worries, Ernest. Have a good time at work, man. And if you're not in the Discord, jump in if any of you are not in it. But um, yeah, that will be the last race of, uh, of this stream today, guys. And that was a, a nice way to end. Quite a realistic Sam Remo, you and winning the bunch sprint just behind the break as always. I mean, I literally am picturing 2018 when Nibley won. <laughs> that was literally the same, literally the same. I didn't quite celebrate as early as Nibley though. Um, I'm not that brave. <laughs> He's, he celebrated so early then. Oh, but that's a great way. Great way to end the stream today. All right, so we finished Ponies, became seconds. Uh, we did terrible at Torreno, let's be real. That was a horrible race, but we've made up for it here. Winning Milan San Remo, Alberto Batiol. Um, yeah, cheers, Jonathan. I think, let me just check who's live because I might try a quick raid. Yes, Taylor, yes, Taylor. Taylor, same wavelength. For once, we're on the same uh, wavelength, right? <laughs> I'll just check who's live, see if anyone I follow is. Um, so there's a guy called Clates, who I follow a little bit who um, does Football Manager. Uh, we'll give him a quick raise, I think. If you guys are down, why not? We may as well. Um, so yeah, thanks for coming, guys. Hope you enjoyed the stream today. That was a, uh, a nice way to end it. Um, I very much enjoyed myself. Hope you guys did as well. And uh, we'll give Clates, who streams FM, he's streaming, I think, a Hereford save right now. Uh, we'll give him a quick raid. So uh, yeah, cheers for coming, guys. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot for coming. And um, yeah, we'll set up this little raid. Let's see. Yeah, Masiago rates Clates. Let's uh, give him a quick raid. But yeah, thanks everyone else for coming. Jump into that raid, guys, if you're, if you're keen to watch a bit of Football Manager and uh, support, support Clates. All right, so we'll give him a raid. And again, thanks for coming, guys. I'll see you guys in the next stream.